walking dead, retarded, homosexualized boozaga? That imp? I would not have you insult my man in that manner. Excuse you! Mom, please, warn her because I won't take it. Warn me? What has come over you too? You are same blood, same sisters, from same womb. You ought to live in peace, not this banter. I don't like it. Adore, you should go and inform your father that you have accepted so that the marriage can commence. Mother, please, let us go at once. And as for you, kid sis, I'm not dragging anything with you. Not at all. All I am just trying to do is take over from where mother stopped. She has gone through a lot to build this empire. And I can't just let this slide away just like that. May we please? I'm sorry for raising my voice with you. It's okay. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you finding it difficult to understand simple things? Huh? Seriously? Are you asking me that question? You want to insult me in presence of subject? Huh? Dude, come on now. No! Leave us. Okay, my king. Better. I am sick and tired of all this entire drama. You are getting on my nerves, Jordan. And I have told you countless times to cut off the people of Obudu Kingdom. Stop making yourself a commoner. Stop! Making myself a commoner, you said? How am I making myself a commoner? Have you forgotten who I am? The daughter of the senator. You, I am not a commoner. You debase your royalty by mingling with those commoners. Oh, there he goes again. Why are you behaving irrationally? Are you serious? I am behaving irrationally just because I am socializing and mingling with people. I don't blame you because you will not understand. In politics, it is called grassroots politicking. How will you even understand? You don't know anything. Let me tell you. He don't segregate any human being on earth because before God, we are all equals. For your information, my parents were not able to stop me from catching my phone and you will not dare try it. Is it true that Adura is pregnant? What has gone wrong with her? <laughs> Woo. My father the king. I'm fine, Daddy. <laughs> um, Daddy, are you sure you're okay? You look a bit moody. Oh, it's not out of that. I was just reminiscing. It's normal with me. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Stop. Tell me, how was work today in the office? Well, work was fine. Stressful as usual, but <laughs> Daddy, mm. <laughs> I had an amazing day at work. I see. In fact, I come bearing news. Good news. Really? Mm hmm I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so how would you feel if I tell you that the Ministry of Health contract yes. pulled through? Hey! <laughs> come, come to my arms. Ah, I know. It did. I know that you <laughs> made this happen. Mm, you knew it. Yes. Mm, I knew you were going to say I knew it. <laughs> indeed, you are a gift sent by the gods. 
to help this family. I know that. Mm. I always know it. Really? No, tell me. Tell me about it. You see, I, I, I knew it right from when you were just a little child. Mm. I tell you something. Mm. A child that will become a star starts from a scratch. Tell me about it. Oh, <laughs> I will not tell you that. Daddy, then. you have so much <laughs> confidence in me. Like sometimes it's really scary because I don't know. I don't ever want to disappoint you in life. Do you understand? But I mean, how can you have so much confidence in a human being? I, I'm not a magician. Seriously. Tell me, how did the magic? Happen. Daddy, don't worry. I'm going to go upstairs now, freshen up. Okay. You know what? Mm. Kambili is hungry. Daddy, I'm so hungry. I need to eat. So when I come back, mm -hmm. I'll eat and Good. then I'll tell you all about it. All. You have to take all the rest because I know what you do. Alright, Daddy. <laughs> see you soon. All right, all right. <laughs> and then you have to tell me why you're holding because I know there's something behind that. I'm just communicating with the gods. I do it often. Mm. Well, let me guess. You are communing with the gods? Well, I, I'll resume my reminiscence. It's a normal thing. So, what did the gods say this time? Ah, uh, I wouldn't tell him. Just being a king is not <laughs> everything. <laughs> my father is the best king in the world. I appreciate. Love you, daddy. Ah, uh, where is my phone? Uh, God! Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Come. Quickly move to a change of first house. Tell them to get prepared. That I said they should get prepared for Adure's uh, marriage right. Uh, I am happy. <laughs> you know you never cease to amaze me, Dad. You really never do. I was there and I heard it all. I heard you singing Kambili's praises. You sing her praises all day, all night. You rub it to her face that you prefer her to my sister and I. You do everything to prove to us that you don't even care about us. You made it clear to us that Kambili is better than us. But let me tell you something, Dad. Kambili is never and will never be better than my sister and I. Let that sink, His Royal Majesty. Everything in this palace. It's all about Kambili. Kambili in, Kambili out, in the morning and afternoon, Kambili. God, we have a single piece yet because of Kambili. Guys, the king is mad with Udo Queen for dancing with us. Among you, say for you, Sabi, this big, 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 big grandma. As for me, I like Queen Annie. She's, she has vibes and she keeps the palace lively. And I'm happy with that. If she continues like this, she might lose her respect and she's crossing her limit. I might be like, it's not like that I can join me for this palace. So. Eh? Um, she kisses this palace, she makes the palace lively. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? That is none of your business. I've not forgotten that young men also likes to gossip. But that's none of my business. Came to inform you that the princess is in need of you people. Gossipers. Nah, what is this princess? What does she want from us again? I don't know. Let's go. So, Kambiri now has a new car. I am sure it was father that bought it for her. Kambiri. I am also sure that she has her eyes on the throne. Ah, but I will shock her. I am the only tigress in the Roomba kingdom. Nobody will drag that throne with me. Kambiri. Kambiri. Wait for me. Mm. Oh. It was a very successful meeting today. <laughs> At the palace. Oh. Oh, wow. Papa, do you think so? <laughs> Listen, the ball is not in their courts. Unless you did not do your homework well. Because if you did your homework well, the princess will accept your proposal, and then uh, the king will invite us for uh, the needful, and then hmm, the process will begin. 
That is it. It's alright, Papa. It's alright. That is the way it is. So, how are you going to do about the that business you told me about last time? You said you wanted to venture into it. You are coming. Greetings, Ichi. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Yes. Uh, Ichi, His uh, Royal Majesty asked me to go come and inform you to get prepared and, and come. Ah, okay. My regards to him, eh? Yeah, I'll be there. Thank you, sir. Papa, as you can see, I did my homework well. Papa, the princess cannot reject me. Papa, I love her very much and she also loves me too. We have to start making preparations to go and see the king immediately. In that case, tomorrow, huh? Yeah? Prepare. Tomorrow we'll go back there and see the king and then... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, so about that business, I'm interested in that business. I called all of you here to reaffirm my love for all of you. It's a wonderful family. I am happy to have you as family. Queen um, Agatha, Queen Olama. I am happy to have you as my beautiful wives. I must tell you, most sincere, that both of you are the most beautiful women in this kingdom. And I want to thank the gods of this land for giving me elegant and vibrant girls as children. Having said this, I want us to also remember that very soon Princess Aduro here will get married. And I want all hands to be on deck. We must host our visitors very well. In a way and manner that they will know that we are one united family. I want to borrow really it from our ancestors. They said that when urines are passed together, it forms. I hope this is clear. Yes, my king. Yes. Good. I want to use this little opportunity to commend the family here. She has been doing a whole lot to give our family business a facelift. All that she has been putting in are enough to commend her for. Um, princess, I want to say thank you. The gods of this land will continue to bless you beyond measures. Uh, I am so proud of you, my daughter Kambile. So, so proud of you. And um, you, so much. I want you to work harder. The problem you have is that you give up on things easily. That has been your problem right from birth. And I want you to improve on that. I want the best from all of you. Since my speech here is not to reprimand any one of you, but to elogize all of you, I still stand on the ground that I want the best from every one of you. I hope this is clear. Absolutely not that. I find it difficult to understand the reason I can never do anything right before my father. There is nothing I've ever done that you're okay with. And it's even more embarrassing that you continuously present me as the black sheep of this family. I am not okay with that. And that will never sit well with me. Just so you know, I do not feel happy about it. My king, this is not fair. You've just ended up getting my daughter angry. How? How did I get her angry? Have I done anything wrongly? My king, you've said nothing wrong. Nothing. You've not said anything wrong yet. Really? I know you're going to support him. I know you'll definitely support him. I don't blame you. I do, Ray. 
Let us go. Father. Father. No days and no peace. You are sowing the seed of this God. Have you seen what I just finished talking about? Just when I thought I have a meeting with the family, and the meeting ended in fiasco. My king, like I said, you have said nothing wrong. Nothing. What? I'm not happy, Mom. I don't like the fact that you sat there and watched that ridicule me. You couldn't even do anything to defend me. And what were you expecting Mother to say? Defend or me, sis! Oh, please, no matter what, you have no right, no panache to talk to Mother in that tone and that manner. I know you are angry, but you shouldn't talk to her that way. Samachi, what is it? You're acting as if you don't know your father, the king. His word is authority. He likes to say things the way they are. Have you for once thought about the things you do that he doesn't like? Mom? Has you? You should try to be the best. And you are Dure. Strive to be the best. You don't allow anyone to asmat you in this game. Mother, please, can we not start? My wedding is coming up and I need every support that I can get to have a fun, fair, traditional marriage. So can I get the support? Come on. Please. It's my marriage we're talking about here. Sis, of course you know I will support you. But please talk to mom. Can you stop? No, I will not. Stop it, Soma. St stop it! I think it's high time we started thinking about what will chill our spirits? Let's go and have something chilly. Follow me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you want to chill? You saying something? Mother, you know, I do not understand so much his attitude towards that. I mean, why the rudeness? My daughter. Yes, mother. Forget this uh, so much and her trouble. It is in their DNA for, to be aggressive. You should know them by now. You know, that was only trying to encourage her to do better. Mm -hmm. But then, I don't know. My daughter. Yes, mother. I am so happy that you are always making this royal family proud. Mm. And I'm also happy that your dad, the king, appreciates you. I want you to keep it up. Thank you, mother. Pay less attention to so much. Pay less sure. attention to their trouble. Forget them. Keep up the good work that you are doing in this royal family. Okay? Keep Thank up you, the mother. good work. You're welcome. Let's go in. I'm happy you're proud of me. Ah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking about. Is Bilani at it again? What? What are you doing? You are smoking weed again in the palace? I thought you'd be told to quit this. I don't know what is wrong in smoking weed in the, in the palace and catching my craze. Catching your cruise? Of course. You call smoking of weed catching your cruise? This is palace for God's sake. You have been warned and you promised never to do this again. So why are you doing it? I don't quit weed and weed don't quit me. It's a Rasta kingdom. We align together. Don't you understand it? What? Yes. 
But you're a queen. You are a queen for God's sake. Stop smoking weed. You have many other important things to do than smoking weed and destroying the palace. Do you think queens cannot take weed? It is not allowed in this palace. You need to stop it. You really need to stop it. Princess, just leave. Just leave my presence. Let me enjoy myself. I am going nowhere. I am going nowhere. You should be the one to leave. <sighs>
Igwe. Your Majesty will come to know how our queen is doing. Yes. Eh? <clears throat> Others of my cabinet. Igwe. I must commend all of you uh, for always coming to show concern. Well, uh, the Queen is still uh, going uh, through examination. Uh, the doctor is already here to do some routine check on her. I believe that um, when she comes out, uh, we will know the situation as it sees. Your Majesty, there is no cause for alarm. Should we pull through? Of course. Our queen will pull through. Of huh? <laughs> so, uh, yes, so, um, your majesty. Very interesting what you say to us. And uh, we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the case of uh, uh, <coughs> Waf? Uh, I, I think it's, we are resolving it. We are resolving yes. it. Yes. Resolving it. Yes. Okay. There she is. Yeah. Which is your majesty? Doctor? Yes. Which is the yeah. others? Welcome. Uh, 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 doctor, so how is she now? There is an improvement and I'm certain that very soon she will recover fully. Good. A piece of good news. I told you. She will pull through. A piece of good news. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Do well or do more. Do more, please. May the gods be praised. Your majesty. I beg to take my leave. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but just uh, w when you need, you can so that we'll continue this process. I just finished speaking to the mortuary attendant. My king. 
for how long are you going to stay on this image? How long? I can't believe that my Olama is past. Something very dear to my heart just gone. I feel so empty. Same here. I feel the same. Honestly. I do remember she was a good queen. Loving and caring mother to our children. Loyal and respectful. I feel pain. But what can we do, my king? We need to move on. I can't. I can't. I find it difficult to get along with this. It's so pity, so unfair. The universe can offer you but one life. All we need to do is to make sure that she gets a befitting burial. She'll always be deep in our hearts. I feel for my daughter, Kambiri. She too is not finding it easy at all. My king, you don't need to bother about her. I'm here. I am now her mother. I'll make sure she will never lack. She will remain a happy lady all the days of her life. I'll make sure of that. Issue. Trust me. Come. You look so weak. I need to make you relax. Come with me. I'm really my daughter. Yemi. You have made this royal family so proud by graduating with first class. <laughs> it's not easy. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> my mother, it's mm. not easy, oh. Mm. <laughs> like seriously, you're thanking me. Yeah, of mommy. I have to thank you. For what? I have to thank you for graduating with first class. You've made us proud. Thank you very much. Mother. After all the money you and father spent sending me to school, mm -hmm. the least I can do 
<laughs> is to graduate with the first class. There are children out there who their parents spent some money, millions of naira, and after spending all the money, they, they return to the house with nothing. Mm. Well, I am my mother's daughter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, my intelligence is from somewhere. Mm. And I think it's from one very beautiful woman. Mm. She's light skinned. Oh, wow. And I think she's wearing green. <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, mommy. Well, I also want to thank you mm -hmm. for coming through okay. for this royal family. Okay. And being who you are. Okay. It is not easy. You keep thanking me today. I will keep on thanking you because I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you today. I'm a proud mom. Eh? I'm glad I made you happy. You and Dad. Thank you very much once again. Um, there's another thing. I have a little surprise for you. Hmm? A little surprise. I said little. Not it's, it's not big. Just me. What are you saying? I said I have a little surprise hmm. for you. <laughs> you want Mother, to guess? I know I know you. See, nothing is ever little. When you say hey, your little can be so big. Your little mommy. Mm. Hey! You have a surprise for me, where is it? Uh, like I said, it's little, you don't know what it is. It's <laughs> little, but... Oh my god, do I have an idea already? Guess. I don't know, like... Changing my phone, I don't know, like, whoa, what? Let's it? give guess. Anyway, <laughs> Wait, let's, let's go. Let's go and change to something better, something, you know? Ah, mommy, yeah. I have to change to something else. Yeah, of course, I'm putting it, let's go. For this surprise? Yeah. Hey, please, please. No, mommy. I mean, all of this we have to dress up. I mean, we're wearing heels for an iPhone. Mommy, I doubt. What's going on? Tell me. I'm the princess, honey. Is that a surprise? Okay. Okay. So what's going on? <laughs> okay. So I mean, at this point, I think I could. Mommy, hold on. Oh, wait. I think I should close my eyes so that everything just, you know. Wait, your mommy is calling the shot. Okay. So my eyes are closed. Okay. You better surprise me. Of course. Okay. Come, Billy, my daughter. Yes, Mama. For graduating with a first class. Okay. And for making this royal family a proud one. Mm -hmm. I have this for you. Open your eyes and open your pants. This is for you. It's a Benz. No! Benz! No way. Mom, stop it. Dad? Yes. No, this is a joke, right? Oh, out there. A bend! Yes. This, but for now, I'm pressed. Let me. No, no, it's fine. Take your time. We are going to drive around town. I'll take you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way I don't know what to do. The peace to man. Who should I hug first? Of course, man. Of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mommy. I'm not jealous, though. Mommy, you make me want to cry. Then they want to cry yeah. right now. My dream car. Of course, you always say it. Uh, what am I still doing, doing here with you guys? I shouldn't be here. Please, I'm not giving you a ride in my car. Kids with kids. Hey, Uleko. Hey, 
My princess, you have cried too much. Abale, you me too. My princess, please, you have to stop crying and eat something. You have not eat or drink anything. Please, you have to. I don't want to eat anything. Just look at your hair. You have to freshen up so that you can change your hair. Please. I am not leaving this room until my mother comes back. She has to explain to me the reason for all this. She has to come back. She has to come back. My princess, you can't question God for taking out our loved one. Please, you have to stop crying, please. You can't console me. You can't. You're not in my shoes. I should not know how it feels. My princess, please, you have to have faith in God. Faith? Yes. Did I? Did I just hear you say faith in God? Yes. In God? Oh, well. I don't have faith. And I don't even need faith. All I need is my mother back. I want my mother to come back. My princess, your mother will not be happy to see you like this wherever she is. Please, you just have to stop crying, please. <laughs> How long will you continue like this? Denying yourself food, drink, and keeping yourself in isolation just because we lost your mother. We are brief together, been going through the pain as well. But you need to be strong like like I've been trying to do. Okay. I know it is not an easy road. It's okay. Can be restored. No! Daddy! I do not understand this. I I do not understand the concept of death. I do not understand how somebody will be here and the next minute the person is no more. And you, you're trying to convince me to accept the fact that my mother is never going to be here. Again, it doesn't make sense. Cameron. No, uh, this is not making any sense to me, Daddy. Even if you can make it make sense because I do not understand it. Cameron. I do not understand. It's okay. No. You see? This is mystery beyond our comprehension. And it is only the gods that have the power to demystify this. I want to ask you something. Would you want me to go to my bed one day and uh, from there I just pass on? No! So you need to be strong. No! Daddy, please don't say that again. You have please, to be strong. Please, please don't say that again, Daddy. I beg of you. No, no. I know one day 
Pobrecinho, eu mando ele ver. Quando? You mean she has refused to take her bath since then? Yes. And she actually refused to be consoled. Huh. Now wow. Her death came to me as a shock. It was a shock to all of us. She was a queen with a heart of gold. She was kind-hearted and loving. I won't forget the money she gave to me on my birthday. Oh yes. I witnessed it. She actually made your birthday a fun fair. Hey. Have you all forgotten that he asked and pleaded with the king to increase our salaries? He did that even when Queen Agatha was against it. And he heeded to her advice. Hey, I don't think Queen Olama died in natural death. Shoo! Hey, leave me alone. We should be mindful with our words. Don't you know? I've told you the condition of our daughter. If our people get to know that she's pregnant without her dowry being paid, you know the consequences. And that will rob the name of this kingdom, your name, to the mud. Yes, that will drag my name to the mud. But first, she should have considered those consequences before opening her legs for Ekene. My king, don't talk like that. She's our child. And you know how the children of these days behave. But think differently. We need to do something about this. The funeral can hold. Let's do the traditional marriage first. Agatha, I am briefed. I am mourning my wife, Olama. Is that not enough requiem already in the palace than to start this chariot? We are all bereaved. She was my co-wife. We loved each other. The moment. Respect the moment. So what I about... do not want you to say anything further. Apologies, my king. I beg to take my leave. Your Majesty, we got a letter from Orun Bakendom. Regretly to announce and inform us the sudden death of uh, their queen, Olama Okonkwo Alfred. That's quite painful and sad. Anyway, we will send our condolences. Yes, Your Majesty. We will go and express our sincere kindness because that has been the culture between their community and ours. Your Majesty, Ichie Oka is right. Our kingdom and the Urumba kingdom have a strong treaty. And you remember, it was uh, their king that crowned you the king of Obudu kingdom. <laughs> Your Majesty, where is this foul order coming from? In this palace? Guys, who is smoking this nonsense here? <laughs> All of you looking at me like that. Oh, now I know. Is it because of this my spiritual stick and my holy water? I'm so sorry I didn't know that you guys are still here. Thought you had left. Hello. Your Majesty. In Okwanke, I mean. Hey. Me. You have done the other thing, Kevo. Ichi. So our queen is a Rasta queen. Queen in New York for that matter. 
Hey! Annie, you told me you were going to the mall. Did you actually leave this palace dressed like this? Oh, yes. You know, I actually needed some fresh air in the right places, you know, hobby. Anyways, I was at the balconies. I'm here to go out. And what's going on? And you're smoking weed again? Bora, this is getting out of hand. Chineke me. She even smoke. Not even cigarettes. But marijuana. Hey! Aro Mekwere. You know, old man, I don't only smoke. I take snuffs and inject substances. Alright? <clears throat> uh, my elders, this meeting has come to an end. I need to put my home in order. So I, I, I apologize for any inconveniences this might have caused. We will reconvene later. You can go now. Annie, you have insulted me. You have embarrassed me in front of my cabinet. What have I done? I didn't just smoke because the elders were here. I was doing this to help myself. I was only catching my cruise. I made a mistake picking you as a queen. You lied to me. You told me you've stopped smoking. You told me you've stopped doing drugs. You told me you've quit alcohol. And here you are doing all of them all over again. I should have known that beauty is nothing compared to character. Honey, you are shameless. How dare you speak to me like that? Do you know who I am? Or you have forgotten I am the daughter of a senator? You have no right to demean me like that. And how dare you talk to my brother in that manner? I think your parents didn't give you a better upbringing. Maybe your friends and your, 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 your helpers did. Maya, you are so disrespectful. How dare you, Maya? Did you just mention my parents' name with this filthy mouth of yours? Oh, yes, I did. Oh. And what is going to happen? You never knew how repeatable my parents were. And you dare speak about them like, what is wrong? What is wrong? Is that okay? What? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Leave me alone! Hey! What is wrong with you? You! I am going to get back at you. You do not stop at me. you. You are doing nothing. The next time you try this, I am going to deal with you. It's okay. Nonsense. It's okay. Hey! Clear this table. They can't talk to... Oh my god. No! It's not ended yet! Your Majesty, we are here to condole with you on the death of your second wife, you know that You see, the, the, the news came to us as a rude shock. Rude shock. It's a bitter pill to swallow, honestly. But please accept our condolences, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, please accept our sincere and heartfelt condolences. And I pray the gods give you the fortitude to bear this irreplaceable loss. It's okay. I want to say thank you, Mazi Jofo, 
I welcome you and your son once again. Well, um, it's not um, an easy road like you really mentioned. Well, the gods of this land is already consoling all of us in this uh, trying times. And who are we? We must bear the pain. Um, my son, my daughter told me of your plan to come and do the need for. Um, I don't know Whatever if you have... plan you have has to wait like we already discussed over the phone. Of course, Your Majesty. You see, as a widow that I am, and um, uh, considering the circumstances surrounding this event, I uh, understand your situation. I feel with you. And I'm ready. In fact, we are ready to wait for the date you will fix for this event. We are ready to pray. I thank you for understanding, Master Rajafo. Until then. Thank you. Thank you. How dare you, Annie? What has come over you? How do you fight my sister for telling you the truth? What is wrong with so you? So you are taking sides with your sister. So you want to support your sister and forget about your wife. Hey, yeah, you listen to me. I was there. You attacked her first. I saw everything. For heaven's sake, what is wrong with you? Look at the way you are dressed like, like a cheap prostitute on a day you know I'm meeting with my cabinet members. What is wrong with you? Just hold it dead, Queen Jordan. You are insinuating that I... How dare you link me to a prostitute? Do you know what you're talking about? I hope you have forgotten who I am. You have forgotten whose daughter I am. Don't you ever relate me with that name again. Do you know what? I am sick and tired of all this nonsense you call marriage. Now I just found out we are not compatible. I don't even know why I started this in the first place. In that case, you have to choose between being a respectable wife, oh. being a respectable queen for the people of Obudu Kingdom, and me ending this marriage. No! You don't need to move further. I am ending it here and now. I don't want to become your queen. I don't want to become part of your subject. I don't want to be here, period. Excuse me. Nonsense. I need Have you even been safe? I'm eh? not happy. Things hasn't been easy with me recently. Ah, ah. How will you say that? In this community, that everybody just cruising up, left, right, and center. <laughs> See, no, to be honest with you, I've not been happy because I am not okay at all. But seeing you now, I am happy. You know why? Because I know you have something you're going to tell me. Aya, come and give me the info. <laughs> tell me. So you've not heard? You've not heard what is happening in this community? Did I hear? And I'm asking you to tell me. Tell it's me your now. queen, nah? Your queen, of course. <laughs> my here. queen. Your father is Wait, just... see. My queen or our queen? Which your one? Queen. Is your queen. Your almighty queen. So what about the queen? What happened? Your father is just coming back from the um, meeting with the king. So I overheard him telling my father of um, how the queen is always smoking weed. All over eh? the palace. Queen. Queen. <laughs> Queen. What's in there? Weed. A beautiful one like that. I beg you. Which one is beautiful? Beauty without brain is what? Eee. See, eh? See, my sister. The elders in council, mm -hmm. they left the palace with anger. Bam. <laughs> Bam. That attitude of her is unacceptable. I don't mean, me. My own Bam. is that, my sister. <laughs> it's not by shouting. My own is that. I just pray. I'm praying to this almighty God. That this woman will not burn down the king's palace without her witch. If she like, let her burn down the palace. It's none of my business. It's too much for them. What, what is my own? Yeah, I see your own done too much. My own done too much. What she let them gossip her? I can't tell you the truth. How about? Is that how you're going? That's <laughs> right, yeah. Let's say 
Come now, calm down. Nonsense. I don't know what I'll be doing here with you. But I want to marry because you're cute. God punish your father. I am leaving. I can't be here. So it's not this nonsense. So you really chose to abandon this marriage instead of stopping your reckless lifestyle? Really? I will not quit my lifestyle. Not for you. Not for you. You know, you can actually ask me to do anything for you and I will do it. But not to quit smoking. I will not. What am I even saying? You don't know the feeling in this awesome attitude of taking the law, the SK or the marijuana. How will you even know? I want you to quit being a vegetable man. That is if you can. Allow me to help you. I mean, you either need help or rehab. Are you serious? You're a bastard! How dare you tell me to quit my lifestyle? What? To hell with your royalty and to hell with your queenship. I can see it's you and you, that your stupid sister that needs rehab or... Hey, shut up. SHUT UP! Don't you ever raise your voice on me again. Uh, what will happen? I said shut up and sit down! And if I don't, you will hit me. Try it! I said try to hit me! Hit me and watch me take your miserable kingdom and yourself spend the rest of your miserable life in jail. Excuse me, what are you even trying to do? You want to bend my life to suit your miserable lifestyle? No way. I think you're forgetting something. Have you forgotten where you met me? You forgot you met me in the club in California where I was taking my hard substances that you want me to stop now. I will not do that. I was enjoying myself with those whatever it is you want me to stop with my homies. And now you want me to change because of you? If you don't refrain from this life of yours, you will see the other side of me. And for now, I am living here and there is nothing you're going to do about it. My guy, no more wait for you again, no. I said my condolence. Guy, yeah, which can't talk with that one now? Sure. Don't go take inside the smoke. So I'll not blame you, so I don't know the kind of job we really give now. Guy, yeah, not too best. Guy, yeah, come off my pussy. Come on, you know. Not too best now. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you know. Don't worry. Too best. Do the best. Um, Amara. Yes, my princess. Please go to the kitchen and fix me something to eat. Okay, my princess. My love, I must confess, your chief maiden is a wonderful cook. Wow, you can say that again. You're <laughs> that reminds me. So, how was the meeting you had with my father? Well, your father, the king, suggested we wait till after the burial. Meaning, I don't understand. My father chooses to bury that wrecked, disgusting corpse over my own marriage? Why so much disrespect over your dead stepmother? Are Why? You kidding me? You don't see anything wrong with this? Oh, come on, my love. Stop disrespecting the dead. I mean, what has she done to make you disrespect that her this much? It's the problem that I have with you. You never see things the way you're supposed to see it as a man. No! You see things differently! But why the hate? Why so much hatred? You know what? What has she done? I am done with this topic. You can go ahead and get married to my father. 
You're not even man enough to become my husband. You are nothing but a shredded cankerworm. My Amara! Lord. What? What's going on? Amara! Yes, my princess. Look, I'm leaving this place at once. See? Your father clearly doesn't want to celebrate before he mourns. Come on! Why is so much hate for this woman? Why? What's... My love! Babe! Your Majesty, mm -hmm. on behalf of the people of Obudu Kingdom, we have come to offer our condolences to you and your family. Oyeze, Jordan, my son, I welcome you and the members of your council once again into my palace. None. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. None. Huh? The King of Obudu Kingdom. None. My fellow elders, they're welcome. They're all welcome. Oh, thank there. you. Huh? Hello. King Jordan. How is your beautiful wife? She didn't come with you. She's fine. But she's no longer with me. Oh, so oh. fast. She's no longer our queen. Oh. You know, Annie is not the virtuous and beautiful queen. I've always believed she is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry about that, my king. It's okay. But that's not the reason we are here. Your Majesty, I, people, and I will support you with the sum of 25 million naira. Ah! Oh, oh my word. <laughs> and four live cows. Oh, really? For the funeral of the late queen. Thank you. Thank you so much. The youngest king from the kingdom. I don't know. Thank you, my king. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife will uh, see to your refreshment. Uh, oh. Once again, I say none. Mm -hmm. Um, be cheer, please. After you, let me go and do something. I must be putting guy about queen. Oh, it's okay. Uh, okay. 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 It seems you've not been in Nigeria for a long time now. Yeah, you are right. I left Nigeria when I was 13. Wow. You were really small then. Yeah. Uh, I think I like you. You look more calm, beautiful, and you speak well. <laughs> I don't have friends that I came back to Nigeria. Perhaps, maybe we could be friends. We are friends already. I mean, why can't we be friends? That's why the fact that we are still mourning the Queen. Well, you know, okay. I don't know why good people don't last on earth. Why? Such is life. So tell me more about yourself. Are you in any serious relationship? <laughs> no, why do you ask? Because my brother is very much single. And I would want you to be one of us. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. I really want you to do. I will. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. All right. I will for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, mm. thank you for a wonderful refreshment. Mm. Honestly, oh. it was sumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. We love the food. It's a royal food, of course. Uh, but, Your Highness, where is the daughter of the late queen? I'm aware she, she had a pretty daughter. We did not see her around. Please, where is she? Pretty? Yes, she is pretty. The prettiest amongst all the daughters we have here. But you don't wish to have such in your home. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Honestly, this girl left home for so long. She wasn't even around when the mother died. She eloped with a man. Kambili is wayward. Would you believe that we've been calling this girl since the death of her mother to come mourn her mother, help in the preparation of her mother's funeral, but she refused? Your Highness, I used to think she's a good and well-behaved girl. Before now, none of the king's daughters 
has given me any reason to think they are wayward. Now you know. She was well behaved before, but now changed. She is an opposite of good behavior. Have you asked yourself where she is? Did you see her around us or with us? She eloped with a man. Yes. This is unbelievable. Eh? If not that I collected the car key her mother gifted her before she died, she would have gambled with it now. Her bad character killed her mother. Chai! What a word. Why would a princess behave irrationally? That's one thing I keep asking. She has everything. Name it. Money, car, just name the luxury a lady will be needing. She has it. We are just praying that one day the gods will touch her. We are praying she turns a new leaf. Only that. And you know I am her next mother. Whatever happens henceforth, people will be looking forward to see my reaction, what I can do. Because I am her mother now. So that's why you see me praying all the time, every night, every day, begging the gods to turn her. She needs to be turned. She's a princess. Every family, they say, we must get a black sheep. What I'm praying is this black sheep comes from a royal home. Royalty at the beginning and the end of everything that has to do with community. So I am praying. These things I am just letting you know. A lot of people out there don't know. We are praying that she will change. Yes. Honestly, I, I, I don't want to bug you with our problems here. I need to go see the majesty. I will. It's all right, now. Uh, I will tell them to get you. I've left friends far and near asking after you, and you know it's not too good. Ah, uh, Dad. I am still, I am still praying for the soul of my late mother to rest in peace. Well, as you know, this, this is brand new to me. Okay. And people mourn differently. I just want to be here in this room. I don't want to go anywhere until the day my mother will be given her last respect. People should respect that. I just want to be alone. I can't believe it. I want you to get up fresh enough, okay? Your mother was a peaceful woman. We need to be strong together because your continuous grief is bringing my spirit down. So brace up with me so we will be strong to give your mother the befitting burial that she deserves. Dad. Yes. I do not have appetite for food. Well, I'm still going to continue to pray for my mother's soul. But I will start by eating fruits while I pray. Well, if that is what you want, uh, I think I'm okay with it. It's okay. Dad. Yes. Dad, do you think? Do you think someone killed my mom? No. Oh no. Uh, your mother was a peaceful woman. Uh, I mean, we have been living, you know, as one united family, and so we shall continue to live in peace. Okay. The tears again. No. Uh, I'm, I'm not crying. Trust me. Trust me, I'm not crying. I'm not. I'm not crying at all. 
But I'm just... I'm just thinking. You know, I've heard a lot of stories about how good people die. You know. And I'm forced to want to believe that someone might have killed my mom. Maybe because of her bubbly spirit and beautiful, happy aura. I mean, who knows? Well, that's me just thinking. Is that? I want to tell you something. Your mother's death was caused by high blood pressure. Mm. I mean, it was uh, a public notice. Everyone knows about it. I mean, no one could have possibly killed your mother when I'm still a king. I want you to be consoled, bearing in mind that her spirit is resting in the bosom of the gods of this land. Okay? We are crying again. No. No, no, no. Be strong. I'm not crying. Be strong. I'm not crying at all. I'm strong. I want you to be strong with me. I'm strong. Maya, you don't expect me to get married to a random girl just because she's from a royal family. Brother, you are a king. You heard what the head has said today. You cannot keep residing on the throne after 90 days without a queen. So you really need to. I understand our customs and traditions. So tell me, what do you suggest I do? I think she's the right one for you. Maybe you should set a date and maybe talk to her and see how things work out between the both of you. Maya, you have a way of pushing me. Honestly, brother, she really needs to try it and make it work. I don't want to make another mistake. I understand you. But I promise you with her, she's your final bus stop. Thank you. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou amongst me. Holy is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and now the hours of our death. Amen. Amen. Have you get him to check on you? Oh, Jesus. Don't you do it, Mama? You're praying. I'm praying without telling me. Come, give me the chocolate. Now go, let me help her in this. You can leave. Shut the door. Why would you be doing this? Mama died for all of us. Mama. Oh, Emma. Holy Mary. Hail Mary. Full of grace. Full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all of my soul, now and for the hour of our death. I pray for the soul of all of us. Pray for all of us. <laughs> oh, <okay>. uh, uh. <laughs> Father, you brought us from nothingness to existence. 
Your unfathomable love is so much that we cannot comprehend. Do not let the soul of Fulama and the souls of all departed to suffer. Give them internal rest. Don't let us suffer because of our death. my father with test, test messages and calls. What for? I have to formally inform your father that you're no longer with me. Oh, do you really have to tell him that? You don't have to tell him that we are already separated. I don't need to be here. This is just a cage. I can't be here. Annie, you sent a divorce paper. I will sign it. You've not signed them yet? And what have you been waiting for? Just sign the divorce papers and set me free from this whole nonsense. I am warning you, don't you ever disturb my father or any member of my family at all with your nonsense calls. Dad, I don't want to see that mentally deranged woman anywhere in this palace ever again. Am I clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, listen, my son, eh? I want you to relax your mind. Akufecha or Dalao, eh? What are The princess is yours. Obadure. <laughs> there is nothing anybody can do about it. The king has given his consent. Uh, so all we have to do is obey the king and um, wait until after the burial of the queen. We move in and um, do the needful, eh? <laughs> Papa, Papa, I am trying. The thing is that Princess Adure keeps heaping pressure on me. And she, she's always pestering me. Papa, can you imagine she stopped taking my calls? That is a child's play. Forget about it. Eh? You understand me? Forget about that. Eh? There's nothing to be worried about. Eh? After, after she realized that uh, her father's uh, uh, instructions and uh, the words supersede every other thing. So forget about that one. It doesn't. Uh... Okay, I'm trying, but it's, it's just that I, the pressure is becoming unbecoming, and I don't even understand her anymore. It's, it's, it's too much. Disregard the pressure. Huh? <laughs> Disregard it. Look, unless there is something she's not telling us. Huh? Disregard it. Uh, Papa, I don't know of any, but if there is any, I'm going to find out. I'll, I'll do my best to find out. Uh, you know, she's a princess and um, <laughs> she's supposed to have a walk. Uh, not again. What is it? Who is that? It's the queen. <sighs> Hello, um, Your Majesty. A Kennedy Lichu Queen. I thought you love my daughter and want her to be your wife. Why are you handling the marriage issue nonchalantly? Yes, of course. I, I love your daughter, Your Majesty, and that is why I propose to marry her. So, what is stopping you to come do the need for? What? You just came, do the uh, introduction by saying your intentions, and vroom, you disappeared. Listen, my princess is no longer happy with you. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, it, it's the king. He, he asked us to take some time uh, uh, and, and wait till after the burial of the queen. So, 
My husband now determines when you marry. Is that? Um, Your Majesty, it's, it's just that we have to wait till after the funeral, like the king suggested. You don't tell me that. Okay. You are now telling me that the funeral is more important than my daughter's happiness? Ekene, remember that you've started this marriage process before the death of Queen Olamma. Need I remind you that my daughter is a princess and will someday be the queen and the husband the king? Yes, I'm aware, Your Majesty. Listen, I just hope you don't regret this. Because this attitude of yours is obviously telling me that you're not qualified enough to be my daughter's husband. I need my son-in-law to be a great man. One who is not a push around. Think about it. Hello? Hello? Well, Papa, me, I'm not understanding all this pressure anymore. Like, she's just pressuring me. I don't understand all this. This, this is actually becoming unbecoming. Papa, I'm, I'm tired. She's getting her daughter to make you go against the wish of the king. But it's not going to happen. You know? Yeah? It's becoming scary. Relax. Uh, the pressure is too much. I I mean, just, listen, forget this. Relax. You, you can only do the right thing, okay? Uh, go and uh, bring that uh, that one you told me about. Uh, the one the... <laughs> okay, everyone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get it uh, to, to relieve the pressure. I'm right now. Uh -uh. Your Majesty, I think. Um, we must try very hard to extend a special invitation to them. It's all right. Good. Ah, uh, I foresee the presence of the state government. Considering the fact that you have good uh, relationship existing between you and the governor. That's right. Yeah, so, I think uh, we are... Your Majesty. Yes. Um, the Princess uh, Aduru is about leaving the palace. What? Yes, with Kamele's car. Take her that I need her in there. Your Majesty, please yes. calm down. Take this easy. Can you imagine that kind of carelessness and carelessness? I placed an order that nobody should leave the palace until after the funeral. But look at what she's trying to do. And the worst of it is that it is their mother that is aiding them. I understand all that, Your Majesty. But I humbly suggest you watch your heart. You give yourself a lot of problems. Allow these children, they're still very young and energetic. You may not survive the heat they'll give you. Can you imagine if it was for the guard, this girl would have just seen with, with, with the car. Just allow her be. Let her go. Leave her. Let's talk about some other things. Please. Let's talk about better things now. That's mm -hmm. by the way. So, were you able to streamline our contract with Umezi people? Very well, exactly. Or well, you, you, you oh, met with well. the, the, the town hall and the other chairman who called himself face a person. What is, what is it? Why would she want to go out with Princess Kambiliska when hers is not 40? Wait, though. Are you the one asking this? Don't you know that she wants everything? Blue. Red, white. That girl, she's never satisfied. Hmm. See that girl? I don't like her at all. She is not worthy of the crown princess. You can imagine when everyone is mourning, she's leaving the palace. I beg go. Oh, her character is just is pissing me off. <laughs> Hi, Ichi Amandi. Hi, miss. <laughs> Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. You are welcome, Your Highness. You know, it's not everybody that you will call and they will answer. Thank you for being a royalist. And such people deserves to be acknowledged. Thank you, my <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome, Your <laughs> Highness. How is the, the king doing? Oh, perfect. Yes. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, let me not waste um, 
much of your time. From my investigations, I realized that your king, his royal majesty of your community, listens to you more than he listens to any other cabinet members. Am yeah. I right? You are right. Absolutely right, my queen. Okay. In that case, um, you know, it's not everybody that you will summon and they will come. You are a royalist, so you deserve a token. Just... <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> my queen, mm. all this for me. Yes, for you. Thank you, my queen. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Thank you. Chia Mandy, it's nothing. If you will always comply to my summons and do my biddings, more will come from where this one came from. Like I said earlier, I would not waste your time. I want you to speak to your king, His Royal Majesty, to come for my last daughter, Princess Somachi. I want him to come for her hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. Isn't she beautiful enough to be a queen? <laughs> well, they say royalty seeks for royalty. If you would do my bidding and make him come, Ma will come from where that's one you haven't came from. See, you're not just going to be only Ichie Amandi henceforth. You will be counted as one of the millionaires among your people. A millionaire. Not in words, physical, and in doing things. Name the thing, and you will have it. Um, Ichi, as you can see, I am beautiful, educated, and outstanding. Most importantly, I am every man's dream. Your Highness. Yes. Consider it done. Good. <laughs> I am Ichi Amade. I will definitely convince my king to marry your daughter. My princess. Ichi. Consider yourself the next queen of Obuchu Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> my princess, you are indeed a beautiful queen. <laughs> you don't have to mention it, everything. I'll do for you because you are my daughter. Everything for you, darling. You are the best. Ichi, thank you. <laughs> well, finish up your drink while I ask one of the drivers to drop you off. <sighs> wow, this place is quite amazing. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's... Let's, let's stay here for a while. Oh, thank you. You're welcome once more. <laughs> thank you. Like I said, your palace is quite amazing. I mean, the serene is pure. Thank you. <clears throat> so, Tell me, how have you been coping without a queen in this palace? Well, it has not been easy. You know, the presence of a queen in this palace, even as a companion, can never be overemphasized. <laughs> but like they say, the king doesn't cry in public. Oh, in other words, you're trying to tell me that the king cries in his closet. Well, more like it. You know, I'm trying so hard not to make mistakes. 
I understand. Same thing with me. My sister told me you are single. I mean, a beautiful princess of your class. It is quite strange. I didn't really go into details with her. But let's just say I had my own failed relationship. Do you care to share? I mean, mm. talk more about it. He wasted my time. The love and care that I gave to him, he took it for granted. And the worst part of it is that he betrayed my trust. That is quite sad. So tell me, what is your, your dream man like? My dream man, I wanted the same man. God fearing, understanding, and above all, rich. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm joking. <laughs> so about, do you think there is anybody in this world with such qualification? Of course, they still have good men out there. It's just that the good ones always fall into the hands of the wrong ones. Right. Well, um, why not take your call? Please. It's my mechanic. I asked him to come check the cars before I left the palace. But he came when I already left. I insist you take the calls. At least tell him to call back. Yes, hello? About the cars, right? I'm sorry, I already left the palace. I'll call you back, please. Thank you. Satisfied now? Much better. <laughs> so, you know, um, my king, yes, your attention is needed. Okay. My princess, just give me a minute. No problem at all. Are you aware that Adura is going out with King Jordan? What? What do you mean, what? I said it to you countless times that Adura do not care about me. She says she's in a relationship already with him and she has forgotten about Ekene. But that can be possible. But it is possible already. It's happening an hour very before. Mom, you're not saying anything. Mom! So much. In. Let me think. My princess, you look good at this guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Princess, please, as you are going to the mortuary to see your mom, please be strong. Don't cry, please. Don't worry about me, okay? I'm not going to cry. And please tell her to pray for the peace of this kingdom. Promise me you'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay? I'll be fine. Look. I'm a strong girl, okay? I am going to be strong. And thank you so much. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for your words of encouragement. You're welcome. Certainly she is beautiful. She is smart. She is intelligent and quite adorable. But your brother needs a wife. 
the people of Obudu Kingdom needs a queen. You, my sister, you need a friend. You need a mother-in-law, you need a sister-in-law, you need a gist partner, all in one. So we don't need to make mistakes, okay? You're right, brother. Like I said, I would only support you as long as you're doing the right thing. Uh, unless I forget, AKZ is around. Oh, I invited him. Okay. Uh, you should go and see him then. I think I need a of print to be added to my drugs. I'm feeling dizzy. Okay, I'll talk to the doctor about it. Daddy. Ah. Mommy, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Daddy. Are you How going are to you? the mark? I am. Very well then, let me call an uh, educator to drive you to the mark. Uh, no, I... I'll drive myself. Are you sure you're okay driving yourself? Yeah. So I'm okay, I can drive myself. Okay. No problem. Good. Be careful. Excuse me for a moment. Did you see that, Mom? Dad allowed her to go. But if it were to be so muchy, she's not going anywhere as if I am permanently tied down in this palace. You don't need to worry about all that. Soon it will be over. I am not happy, Mom. About? The fact that you're pretending not to be aware of my sister getting married to Ekene, that annoys me. That is getting on my nerves. Will you just shut your mouth? You're too quick. You think I don't know you want king of Obudu kingdom? What if you become queen here? Why your sister is married to the king? Think about that and stop being silly. I am saying what I am saying because each time I want to say my mind in this palace, you either shut me up or my sister comes with name calling and I don't like it. All the men I've ever wanted, my sister goes after them and she ends up having them. I will not let her do that to me this time around, just so you know. Do I get a microphone for you to tell me No, that? Mom, you don't have to because then I have you not... shut your mouth up. You've got big wings that you think you can now fly above the skies, right? I understand. Well, don't you understand? Everything you've just said. You actually think you can now go about disobeying the others in this palace, isn't it? Why did you not give the khaki to Aduri when you were asked to? Oh. And do you seriously expect me to answer that? Am I talking to an idiot? Why did you not give the khaki to Aduri? You know what? If this is what this is about, I'm not available. You will not. Come, Billy. Princess Adura is very mean. Why will she order her like that? I can never bought two cars for her in this palace. She is no this is pure greediness, so. Pure greediness. She has the most expensive car. Expensive fiance and every other thing she wants. Why going for Princess Kambiriska? <laughs> she would have given her the car for peace to rent big corner. 
We all know her business, Adure does as if she has mental problems. But she has her own car. <laughs> In fact, two cars. Why going for that particular Every one? Means. My dear, if I'm Princess Candy, I wouldn't have given her that car. Yes, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have. Her mother bought her that car as a gift. And she's actually going to the mortuary to pay her mother's dead body, a visit and equally exactly. pray. Oh. Don't you think her mother's spirit will be happy seeing her driving the car she bought for mm -hmm. her to pay her a visit? My dear, I'm just saying my own. No. It doesn't matter if I'm working for her, under her or not. It God doesn't. God bless you for saying <laughs> the truth. Mm -hmm. Did you know that to me? Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. Yeah, the food too. was very, very sweet. sweet. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> what are you nitwits doing there? Will you idiot head to your duty post at once? Okay. Hey! Closer, you idiots! Come closer! You like complaining too much. Hey, hey! Step down. Lay down Stop now! Step down now! Say you should lay down. My princess is saying I said down. on your knees, you idiots! Jesus. My princess. Sorry, ma. Did you not hear me say? <laughs> on your knees! On your knees! On your knees! My princess! Hey, I am talking to you! Sorry, Are you crazy, you swine? No, no, no. Sorry. My princess, I'm sorry. sorry. All you know how to do is paramblets about the palace gossiping. Are you crazy? No, ma'am. Come on, will you stupidly get back to your duty Thank post? You, ma get back Thank to you. your duty Ooh. post. Hey, see, see, see. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, pick it. Sorry, ma'am. Wait. Come on, get out of my sight. And what are you doing there? And why are you following me everywhere like a he-goat? Disappear! I said get out! Come back. Woman, what are you talking about? I should support Adure. Are you going not? My king, maybe that's the will of the gods. There is no will of the gods in this. This is total greatness and enviness, not being contented. I've always warned you to teach these children not to look wherever that will make them not to be contented with what they have, but you are always going opposite. It's only Cambry in this palace that is not giving me headache. Everyone else is giving me headache. I will not support your notion of this. Tomorrow is my wife's funeral. After that, one week later, Adure will get married to Ekene. That's final. Oh, my phone. Excuse me. Thanks for your understanding, man.
my king. I I want to render apologies. I mean, I'm sorry for how I sounded earlier. I've also thought about it and I realized that you're right. We should follow the do's and don'ts of the custom and tradition of this community. Adoration wait. She should wait to get married to Ekene in due process. You are the king. Your word is authority. Apologies. That's, that's, that's fine. You see, if we have been on the same wavelength, there won't be this verbal bout before now, but it's fine. I'm happy you understand what I mean now. Thank you very much, my king. I, I beg to take my leave. What's going on? I've been calling you for the past two days, but you haven't been taking my calls. I am calling off the traditional marriage. There will be no marriage between us. Wait, wait, are you joking? You know I've made preparations to come with my people to perform all traditional rites next week. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to make it so simple. Keep your ring to yourself. And please, do not bring any tacky wacky member of your generations to my palace. All in the name of paying for my bride price. It is not necessary anymore. It's over. Excuse me. My princess. Babe! I have to call my father. Hello, Papa. Yeah, the, the princess just left my house now and she gave me back my ring that she's calling off the marriage. Yes. Okay, I, I think I have to go after her then. All right, Papa. The doctor confirmed that my husband, your king, he were afraid of this kingdom, suffered cardiac arrest. Huh? Please, I want all of us to be calm because he assured that all medical treatment will be given to him. In that case, we have to fly him abroad so that all the medical treatment needed will be administered. All I, I, I ask is for us to pray for his safety, his quick recovery, calmness, and peace in our kingdom. Please. Bad report. Bad report. 
the worst reports ever had in this kingdom. Our queen, for your information, I knew his majesty too well, even before he married you. Yes, we are too close. He had never complained of common chest pain, not to talk of cardiac arrest. Ha! This is not acceptable to us. We reject the report. The daughter must answer, must answer for it. The daughter must answer for it. We reject it. Tell him we reject it. Moso, why is he coming at such a strategic time? Why is he coming at such a strategic time when we have barrier in this palace? Huh? It cannot happen. Our ancestors are not sleeping. The ghosts of our ancestors are not sleeping. The barrier will be peaceful and hair take free. Well, you all have access to the doctor. Sure. You can hear from the horse's mouth. <laughs> your Majesty. We are not adapting your words, but it's somehow fishy and an unbelievable. As of yesterday, we seated with our king. He was in his flagrant seats and held it. We are discussing the tragedy that comes of our people. You will come next morning and hear different story. No! I won't accept that. No, it's not possible. We shall proceed to him. We shall not only hear from the horse's mouth, we can only go ahead and hear from the camel's mouth. Huh? Our king is not suffering any arrest. What is going on? What am I hearing? What is happening? Who do you expect to answer your silly question? Eh? Yes. Remember, she wasn't there when you all started. What? Did I talk to you? Or no. did I tell you that I am daft? M Mother, please talk to me. What happened to father? Who should shut up? Huh? Look at this, this present. Who should shut up? Will you start nonsense? M Mother, please talk to me. Where is my father? Your father collapsed this afternoon. Please, w w w why? I mean, w w what happened? Where is he? Why? Why are you stop shouting? Why are you behaving as if you're the only child he's got? Mother, please just talk to me. Where's my dad? Where, 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 where has he been taken to? Which hospital? Talk to me, please. To know your hospital. Princess, can't be the way for me. What is actually happening in this palace? Tell me, what is happening really in our palace now? Who knows what is happening there now? Oh no, huh? it's a big way. I perceive lies. Yes. I perceive deceit from the mouth of that wicked woman. Oh. Let us go and see the doctor and confirm what is wrong with our king. Yenupe, we just have to go to the doctor and find out what's happening. That woman is playing with her intelligence. Can you imagine? She doesn't even know we are the custodian and tradition of our people. <laughs> we must go know. Oh no. You see, uh, this woman is playing with fire. She is playing with fire. We have the support of our ancestors. <sighs> and a male woman like her cannot hold the, the entire kingdom to ransom. <laughs> Let me tell you this. The daughter is already expecting me. I told him we are on our way. <laughs> yes. Let, let, go. Go. let me tell you this. That woman must pay for every insult she meted on us. Go, go. But before then, I will tell the daughter that we are the consultants of the customer of this land. Oh. Hey, let's just go. Let's 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 go. let us go I told you that my sister never loved you. But you never listened to me. Just... 
just look at the mess she's made of you at the dire minutes. I feel so much sorry for you. Is there so much? What do I tell my friends? What do I tell my family members, my relatives, and even my business associates? What do I tell them? You know, sometimes I wonder why the good get punished and the bad always get a jolly good ride to life. Anyway. Well, at this point, I will not blame my sister, but you. Yes. That's because I did all there is to be done. I gave you all the signs, all the signals, all the languages. I even spoke to you. I told you how much I loved you. I told you how much I genuinely want to be with you. But you never listened to me. You never paid attention to me. Just because you have been carried away by the love you have for my sister. And that makes me wonder. It makes me wonder the reason you, you don't even know the lady you've been dating. You don't even know my sister. My sister is a viper. A dreaded dragon. My sister is a demonic woman who wouldn't mind flipping you off the roof at will just to get what she wants. It baffles me you never saw all of that. Princess Omachi, my heart is broken. My heart is really heavy. I can't even explain how I feel anymore. I'm just going to leave it to God to judge us. No, not God. God, in his infinite mercy, gave you wisdom, brains to think, wisdom to act. He gave you the eyes to see hands and legs to be able to carry out simple tasks. He will not come down from heaven to make things happen for you. So when you call him, it's appalling to me. Don't worry. I am not biting. Listen. It's not too late for us to start all over again. Let me love you the way you deserve to be loved. Look, look. Pick up. Pick up your pieces. Hand them over to me. I, I will genuinely care for them. Stop, 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 stop. Hello, doctor. Yes, me here. Yes. I'm forwarding 10 million naira to your account. 10 million naira to your account. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. What? The elders are in the hospital? Right now? Okay. Mm. Listen. Do not allow them to see the king. In fact, no one is allowed to see the king until I say so. Am I understood? Good. I'll call you. All right. Hmm. 
What? Mom, honestly, I am sick. I am sick and tired of this whole game. Every man I want doesn't want me. I think it's high time you started thinking differently. Like I think about the throne where your sister is out from this palace. You of all people knows I cannot become the queen without a husband. You know that, mom. Then find one for yourself. Excuse me. I don't need distractions. With every rubbish you do to me, I still find myself wanting you. What? What is it? I will do everything within my power to get you. Damn the consequences! So your dad will be in abroad in no time? Yes, my dear. But at the moment, the Nigerian doctors have to be attending to him before we conclude with the treatment abroad. I understand, my dear friend. My heart is always with you. Now, who is this bad man? Get her from this place! Sorry, can you get out? I think he needs something. Get out! You know what? Let's just leave this place. I can't. I don't want to be contaminated. Let's leave. Let's just stench. It is irritating disease. Let's go. Just calm down. Oh my god. What are you talking about, Adu? You can't be pregnant for a kidney and you want to get married to King Jordan. Mother, this pregnancy means nothing to me. Besides, it's not my first time of getting rid of a pregnancy. Tell me, what's your stand with King Jordan? May I know? He wants us to take our time and he... And he what? And he what? He will be traveling tomorrow. And I'm sure by the time he returns, he will propose to me. Do you have anything with you? Talk to me. Do you? Not really. You said you are traveling to London, right? Yes, it's a very important business trip. How long will you be there? Let's say two months. That's lengthy. It's okay. I mean, we'll, we'll talk on the phone. My sister is always here to keep you company, so... Okay. As soon as I come back, I will do the needful. Okay. That was what he told me. Oh, yeah, that's the baby. I am calling the doctor right away. You will get rid of that stain. Or oh, have you spoken to Kenny about it? Not really. What do you mean, not really? 
I asked a direct question and I need a direct answer. Why are you telling me not really? Have you spoken to Ekene about it? That was the question. No, I haven't. But we'll spoke about it somehow. Honey, what's the problem? You don't seem happy. Is everything okay? I don't feel okay. I feel I'm pregnant. What? Are you sure it's not your period that is coming? Not at all. I threw up twice already. And my breasts are so heavy. I feel so weak and dizzy. My love, you know what? How about you go and see your doctor? And if the result is positive, I would fast track the wedding plan so we can get it done with. You have to. Because you know where I come from, it is a taboo for an adult to be pregnant outside wedlock. It's okay, my love. Now, can you have some apple and smile for me? I'm fine. You get rid of the baby. You are going to get rid of that thing. You're not pregnant. Am I understood? I am sorry you cannot see the king. Meaning what, Doctor? No, this is getting too much, Nene. Huh? That we cannot see our king. Why? What is going on? Tell us what is going on. Is anyone behind this or what? Because this is the second time you are resisting us, Pastor Nakin. king. Huh? Oh. Let me tell you this. You have no reason to give us. We want to see the king and nothing again. His majesty will not be needing any disturbance. This situation right now is very precarious and I will urge you elders to go back home and keep praying mm. for him. Doctor, what are you telling us again? That's our king. Had cardiac arrest. Eh? I have given you people the medical result. Doctor, His Majesty, my king, is oozing out blood from his mouth. I know you will see your king, but for now it's not possible. No. My king has never had chest pain before. Now he has gone to the hospital. You are suffering cardiac, cardiac arrest. Let us see him now. Doctor. Doctor. I demand to see my father. I am the princess and that's my father in there. All right? I demand to see my father and I demand to see him now. You cannot stop me from seeing my dad because I am family. Yes. All right? Whatever ban it is you have cannot have a hold on me. Do you understand? I demand to see my father right now. There are some certain cases you don't get to see the patient until the whole medical test and treatment is being done. Doctor. My father had a cardiac arrest and you stand there and tell me to go back home. Is this not a joke? Is this a joke or something? I mean, what's the meaning of all this? Doctor, please, I do not want to cause chaos here. All right? But I demand to see my father and I demand to see him now. I do not want to lose it. I don't want to raise my voice. But you're pushing me. My princess, relax your mind. You'll be fine. The king also will be fine. Uh, but for now, no one is allowed to see the king. Not even the queen. On whose authority? I demand to see my father. What's the meaning of all this? You are talking with his daughter, the princess of our kingdom. Listen to me. To be on the safe side, I advise you, allow her to go and see her father. No protocols will, 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 will forbid her from seeing her father. Huh? I demand to see the higher authority. I want to speak with the person in charge. Somebody yeah. higher than the office. Doctor, she's talking about the medical director of this hospital. He is the higher authority and the highest authority. I am sorry, this is the rule. I demand to speak with an higher authority wow. right now. The daughter of this king, the princess of the uh, father, you, you also say you have to say her father. On okay. authority, please, I demand to say this in charge. My son, 
They say it is better for you to have a broken pot on your way to the stream than for you to have your pot broken when you're ready on your way back with the whole pot full of water. What I'm saying is this. It is better for you to have a broken relationship than to have a broken marriage. Hey, Papa, what do I tell all my friends? I mean, what do I tell my friends that I've invited from every part of the world to come to my wedding? Is it from the UK? Is it from the US? Is it from Poland, Germany, or even China? That I wake up one morning and tell them I'm calling off the wedding because my wife to be rejected me? Papa, it doesn't make any sense. Please, Papa, you need to do something for me. I need you to help me talk to the Queen so she can talk to Princess Adure to change her mind. Please, Papa, please. <clears throat> and listen, when you decide to beg a woman for a relationship from the beginning, just be ready to continue to beg all your life as long as that relationship is it. Because when the stream is polluted at its source, it invariably carries that pollution through all its cause of wrong. That is the truth. So be ready to beg the woman every day of your life. Uh, but uh, if it's going to make you happy, I will go to the palace and uh, talk to them. Find out exactly uh, how the water managed to penetrate the very stem of the pumpkin. Thank you very much, Papa. I will, I will really appreciate it if you do that for me. Forget about me begging for the rest of my life. I can handle that, but just help me beg the Queen, please. Uh, you can handle that. You are a man, and the man is always equal to whatever comes to him. <laughs> Especially that which he has chosen by himself. Eh? Doctor? Your mother's. I've made the payment. Commence the treatment. Okay, your majesty. I don't want any trace. There will be no trace. Listen, I want you to be highly professional. Yes, Your Majesty. You have nothing to worry about. No trace. Yes, Your Majesty. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, doctor. Let me hear. My queen, it is done. Perfect. All right. Listen, you'll make the announcement after the funeral tomorrow. Okay, your highness. 
good. Don't worry, I'll take off from there. Hmm. One phase down, second phase to go. <laughs> I am the queen. No one tears me. Yeah, hello, my friend. Yeah, how are you doing? Yes, I'll be at the funeral tomorrow. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, bye. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I just walk over there. Uh, okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Your Majesty, Honorable, my elders, Doctor, you are welcome. I know we just laid to rest the second queen of this kingdom. May her soul rest in peace. It's a... I am not supposed to let this out at this time, but I think it is important I bring it to your notice. Go straight to the point, Doctor. Stop Rimarole. Tell us what you want to say. Doctor, please. What is going on? We are eager to hear. Talk now. His Majesty is dead. Yes, he died. What? What are you talking about? Oh, 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 I'll clap for you. Lies. Lies. Joke of this century. This cannot be true. A man heard it the other day. He is now dead in your hands. My friend, come out and tell us the truth. Open your mouth and tell us what actually happened. Um, doctor, you're joking, right? I am sorry we did our best. I'm really, really sorry. Hey! Let me ah! ah! No! 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 Chad! You're joking. Are you out of your mind? My friend, we. Are you. We have to do our best. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not happening in this chamber. His Majesty. Get out! It's okay. My Queen. My Queen. Send me! Majesty. Ah! 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 I asked, why are you shouting? We heard that His Majesty, the King, is dead. And so? You heard that the King, His Majesty, is dead. Is that the reason you chose to scream down the roof? Are you alright? Have you gone insane? Have you gone bananas? How dare you scream? Why were you crying more than to be bereaved? We are sorry, my princess. If I ever hear your voices in this palace again, I will throw you out stark naked. Am I understood? Yes, my Get out! Friend. Hey, you! You 
get lost. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> The king is dead. God, why? Why? Why all these things happening? I'm afraid. This is just not happening. We just finished burying the queen. Now we are preparing to bury the king. Ha! Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? What? <laughs> Princess Adure and her sister are feeling so reluctant and less concerned. They feel as if nothing happened. I say this. This is horrible. The life you ever lived is horrible. I warned you neat with the last time never to walk about gossiping in this palace. Did I or did I not? Yes, ma'am. Out. Out. Lie. Under the sun. Use the floor. Hey, I didn't ask you to kneel. I said lie. My princess, there is no sun there. Use the sun. Hurry up. My princess, please. Princess, we are sorry. Life. Bye. Hey. Guys, that's why. My princess is so sorry. sorry. Please. I said why? Hey. She's been gone this hot. <laughs> Ah! Oh my back! Ah! <laughs> my princess, you are sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, my back. My eyes. I am not beating you, darling. I'm shut up. I said quiet. I'm only being civil with you lots this time around. That may never happen next time. I saw it. Just I said we are sorry. We are sorry. It's not possible. So I don't choose one. Oh, that's not possible. If Princess Cambry who is also the other of the second queen, gets married before her. She will lose her right to the throne. Ichendukwe, whoever between the two that fulfills the condition as stipulated on the appointed time will ascend the throne. Well, the same person will bury the king. Uh -huh. My elders, I think it's high time you left. I don't know where all these are coming from. The royal palace, this royal home, needs rest. The royal majesty, there is. I have spoken. Our uh, queen, you cannot ask the elders to leave this palace. Huh? Even when this critical matter is at stand. Mm -hmm. I'm still the queen. I still have one month to rule this kingdom. Now listen, all of you. I do not want anyone to visit uninvited. For clarity's sake, what my mother is saying is that 
henceforth. No more visiting without invitation. My queen will have you loud and clear. Ndiye. No. Ndiye. No. According to her people's uh, popular adage, any woman that her team makes noise during meeting, hears the noise with her ears. You had our queen. But Queen I we will leave you and leave the palace like you desire. Mana, when there is a very important need for us to be in this palace, our palace, we will come here. Eh? For now, every meeting in this palace is shut down until we have a new queen. Let us go. Thank you for keeping it straight. And thank you for understanding. Get out, all of you. Mom, that Onowu of a man sure have some nerves. Like I always say, one thing at a time, when his time comes, <laughs> I will place him in his rightful position. One man. I still have one month to marry or marry some people. For now, I need to think. Mom, mm -hmm. Adure cannot become queen in both kingdoms. That will never be possible. She must let me take one. You're going to be the future queen of Orumba Kingdom. You don't need to bother about that. I don't see that happening, Mom. Because your daughter's action says otherwise. What did you see? She wants to become queen in both kingdoms. You don't need to bother yourself. As soon as Adure gets married to King Jordan, she will lose interest in becoming the queen here. Just buckle your sandals, whom you have to contend with as Kambili. Not Adore, your sister. If Kambili crosses my path to the throne, I will crush her. Kambili is not my problem. My problem is your precious daughter, Adure. And I understand that she's my elder sister, Mom. But if she dares try to stop me, I will crush her as well without thinking twice. Like I said before, buckle your sandals. You have Kambili to contend with, not your sister. You know, I'm happy you're my daughter. 
I am happy that you and your sister Aduri are buying clarity to my vision and mission. You know, you remind me so much about me when I was younger. Everything about royalty. Mm -hmm. It's here. And I slice it, mm -hmm. ties it, piece after piece until I get where I am. I'm happy you're my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, Adure is not your problem. Be ready to contend with Kambili. Hmm? What stupid collection is that? That we, the elders of this kingdom, will not come to the palace before that notice. <laughs> Who is she? Look at my opinion. It's actually you know. My elders, look at, look at my opinion. Let's just calm down and follow her gradually. Let me tell you this one. Eh? She already knows that she's on her, very hot seat. She already knows that she's in a very hot seat. Let's leave her. She has our ancestors to contend with. She has just insulted us and at the moment she takes it back. Yes. Who know which thing when? Hey, do you win? I will make sure that that woman has her hey. ancestor to contend with. <laughs> hey! What kind of embarrassment is this? What is so many embarrassment? Why are those things happening at the same time? Huh? Why are we having this embarrassment? Like what? White man, listen to me. Where are you from? Oh, white man. When did he start having oh. mad people in this our community? Oh. Hey? Food. Oh, stop. Food. Money. Food. Where are you from? I am sure that you are not from this village. Who are you? Okay. Are we are more than your father? Will you stop that nonsense and stop distracting us? If we are talking about better things, I see just. It's in the way. We are talking of how the behavior of the queen in the palace. We are talking about mad person. Look at what, 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 what. Is it important here? My question is this. Why is it that the daughter, the Queen of Lama's daughter was not in that meeting? Why was she excluded? I'm worried over that. Each year, one thing at a time. Let this. I said, Who are you, my friend? Mr. Rashford, get away from here. Oh, we don't have money. Go, we don't have money. Go! You want money? You want money? If you have money, give him. Stop the Santa Rosa, my friend. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Take, take, take money. Money. Don't fight anybody. You cannot go, go, go. Don't fight with anybody. Are you hearing me? To us be peaceful in this community. Fellow elders. So, like Ishe Ibekwe was saying before we were massively interrupted by this white man. Huh? Ha! Winagata has just insulted us and I demand she takes it back. Like I told you, she has the gods of our ancestors to contend with already. Now, it is now clearly spared out to me that all I'm you are talking about. Yes. Kambiri, Princess Kambiri. Yes. Was intentionally shot out of the meeting. Good. Eh? Good. But meanwhile, <laughs> we must also say everything here. Let's go back home. I know why they shot her away from that. Why? Your services are no longer needed in this palace henceforth. Your jobs have been terminated. Uh, uh, um, my princess, please, if we have actually offended you in any way, apologies. Please, shut up. My princess, you can't be treated with such cruelty. We have been diligent in our service. 
Please, my princess. Yes. Did you not hear me say shot eight? On your knees, all of you. Three of you. On your knees, I said! If you ever talk while I am talking, I will chop off your heads and feed them to the dogs. Are we clear on that? What is going on here? I asked them to leave as I instructed mother. And why are they still kneeling? Hey, you. You should be gone by now. What are you still waiting for? Oh, wait. Um, would you like to work with our pay? Oh, really? You don't want to do free jobs. But you want to eat my food freely. You're an idiot. Now be gone and never to return. Yes, sir. Fools! I think I don't know your hair spying on us. ex -homes. It's actually good they left, Mom. Because they were talking while I was talking. And that is awful. Tell Aduri to scout for another guard some maids. We need new stewards around, not those. There will be two timers spying in and out of the palace. I will not take that. They are happy I didn't chop off their heads and fit it to the birds of the earth. Your Majesty, I am here on behalf of my brother, the Jeffa. He couldn't come because of circumstances beyond his control. We want to know why your daughter, Princess Adura, opted out of marrying our son, Ekene. If I may hear you clearly, you came to ascertain why my daughter opted out from the marriage plan. We take an adelichu for your nephew. Right? Yes, Your Majesty. And I also came to sympathize with the royal house over the death of our king. That is why I came with this boy. Um, what, what is that your name again? Your Majesty, my name is Nze. Nze. To pity, Nze Kono Begin. And get up and leave. Your Majesty. I hate insulting adults. Get out. Your Majesty. Get out. Please. Hold it out. Which marriage are we talking about? Why do they think my daughter will settle for that thing? Emara, hey I don't know what happened since Campbell will be faring now. You know, she was very depressed when we left the palace. Yes, I noticed it. I really do feel for her. You know she's yet to recover from the death of her mother. Now her father, the king. What surprises ah. me is the non talent attitude of her sisters. My dear, hey. you know, like I will always say, I will always say the truth. It doesn't matter if I was Princess Adure's former chief maiden. It doesn't matter. 
They weren't even the told about the king's death. Amara, they weren't. Amara, please, let's reduce our voice. Because what they say is how he is. Ah, that's true, I was carried away. But what they are doing is really no good. You understand? Anyways, was it, did, we, did we just say anything? No, 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 we said nothing. Uh -huh. Okay? Just please, please, let's so get to that one and get what they Okay. Into. You're speaking to Her Royal Majesty, the great queen of Urumba Kingdom. I will not take no son answer. I give you 24 hours to be done with that. What? Mom. Could you imagine that that pig that calls herself Kambili is still sleeping by this time of the day? What? And what did you do? Nothing. I said I should come and tell you first because it baffles me that she still sees herself as a princess in this palace. How? How possible, mom? I authorize you to beat her to stupor. She's a slave and must serve all of us. All of us. For the rest of our life. You are not just the best mom. You are her royal majesty, the reigning queen of our kingdom, the strongest of them all. Mm. I will not only do that, I will cut off her disgusting ears and make sure I feed her with them. That is what your daughter would do. In addition to that, make her walk. Work. 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 And work! Mm. She has to clean all the cars. Okay. Wash the dirty dishes. Mm. Dirty clothes. Even the rags around. If she proves stubborn. <laughs> Report her to me. That is not even enough, Mom. Because I'm going to make her clean the whole compound. What nonsense? What stupid bother that? Listen, you have to forget about that girl. You must! Insulting my brother? Oh, okay. Suppose I were there myself. They would have insulted me too. No, is that it? Listen to me. Forget about that girl. And that is final. Please! We are not going to marry her. Papa, I cannot get that girl off my mind. I can't forget her. I can't. What? Can't you see this whole thing is driving me mad? Eh? What Princess Adura did to me is not fair. It's not fair. And this, this is, this is really hurting me. Papa, I can't forget her. I can't. It's not fair, Papa. It's not. Papa, Princess Adure has ruined my life. She has ruined my life. Let me tell you, I'm your father. I'm your father. I am telling you, out of experience, that with time, you are going to meet a woman that will actually see you for who you are. Read your heart and take you as a brother a husband and a father. Yes. Forget about Princess Adure. Listen, you are even lucky. This is happening now. Ah, hey. Supposing these stupid things begin to unfold when you are already married, where would that leave you? Yeah? Papa, Princess Adure is pregnant for me. Pregnant? Yes. I am certain and I, 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 I can feel it. <laughs> Ojafa. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, my that means we have to go to the palace and tell them. I'm not going there. No. I will not go there to insult myself uh, until I know exactly the true situation. Hmm? No, Ejo, for you don't play with this. We must go to the palace and announce this to them. If you're not going, definitely I'm going to go with him. Ekene, we must go together. We will go. Yes. We have to go. How can you be telling me to, to forget about her? She's, she's pregnant for me. It's not possible. I, 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 can she just leave me like that? For, 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 no, for, no, for no good reason. What, what's the problem? Hey, Jeffa, please. Mom. Hmm. I do report them. She said they are very professional equal to the task and loyal to their job. I see. I'm not seeing any corporate in them. You, what do you want? Do you need new guards? Yes. 
but I don't like this one. Which one? This one. You yeah. get out. Will you shut your mouth up? Out! Get out! And you. What's your name? Divine, Your Majesty. Divine? Listen, you must obey my daughters and I. Our words should be authority to you. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Most importantly, you must not let that thing you saw outside washing the cars out of this palace at all costs. I repeat, you must not let her leave this palace. Are we clear on that? Yes, my princess. And your core duty is to serve us and us alone. Yes, my princess. Your Majesty, I still have some fighter people that are equal to the tax that I can actually refer to you to do the job. You can trust me on this. Shift, shift. Please. This one. Let me see this one. Okay, Your Majesty. Resume today. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, um, hey, when next you're coming, make sure you look better. You stink. This is my Get out. Thank you. Are you sure about him? Okay. Let's try him. Well, uh, Mom. Mm. The elder said that I cannot become the queen because I am not the other. Is it true? So much. You worry too much. When we get to that bridge, don't bother on how to cross it. All I want now is for us to marry. I need beetroot, carrot. I need it well blamed. No milk, just eyes. Tell her to do that. I need to quench my taste. Mm. You can see my stomach. I want to relax. Please, can you tell the idiot? This is not the best life you promised me. Oh, come back to me. I am on the one walking. Come back to me. I am in sorrow.
swine. You have 20 seconds to be done with the washing, else you have something else coming. by pool. That's what you will have for today. You heard my sister, right? You are not going to eat anything like food. You will feed on my sister's pool. That is what you little swine deserve. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense, this shenanigan. Listen to me. If I come back here and you're not done with this washing and taking care of my bedroom and cleaning up the palace, I'm going to be feeding your soul to the octopus in the ocean. You Swahili ancient Egypt. I am with evil people. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, my brother is at the airport. Are you going to pick him up? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the airport. Yeah, bye. There is a madman constituting nuisance at the gate, and no one seemed to be doing anything about it. Tell those guards to throw him out. I do not entertain grief rouse in my kingdom. I'm the queen, the sunshine of Urumba kingdom. I've spoken. My words are all there. Go. Haro, your majesty. My beautiful mommy, the womb that bettered me. <laughs> Consider it done. No one dares challenge me. Not here. Not even in their dreams. Because my words are law in this kingdom. Go tell them. Just as you please. Her Majesty. <laughs> I think I'm going to handle the issue of that lunatic myself. Because as teaching time does say, saves nine. Look what one sink it your knees. Look at one, you balloon. Oh. But what is the matter? I you overheard you shouting? Can't believe. She dares try to give my foot to that lunatic. What? If not that I caught her right-handed, she would have denied it. It's high time we thought that's why in the lesson. What is it? Give your foot to a lunatic? Of all the food in this palace is our royal majesty's food. Keep an eye on that girl. She's biting more than she can chew. We need to clip her wings more. One step at a time. Whatever you do, don't let her die. One step at a time. 
one damn step at a time. Where is the Where is the man? He's gone. Gone? Where did he go? Ah, but I asked him to wait for me. I just went inside to get him food. Go back to your duty post. Please, can I... Can I just check outside? Because I know he might be waiting for me around the corner. Let me just look. I said go back to your duty post. Now! Please, now. Hey, Georgia, why are you doing this? Don't you have a conscience? I'm sure you know we are under the executive order from the Queen. And she will not be happy seeing you here. I'll suggest you leave this place this minute. Georgia, now. Hey, please, I'm begging you in God's name. Let me just look. Hey, use your heart, please. It won't take anything from you now. Just check, just now, now. Come back inside. Please. What are you talking about? I cannot delete you. Are you joking? Why would you say that my daughter is pregnant for you? You're not certain about that, are you? Your Majesty, with due respect, we have come in peace. And we are here to look for a solution to the matter. Hence, your daughter, Princess Adure, have rejected the proposal of our son this minute. So? So? Listen, my daughter is a regent queen. She knows the law of the land and the consequences of being pregnant before wedlock. What are you talking about? How could you prove this? How can you prove it? Your Majesty, Princess Adura told me in confidence that she's likely to be pregnant. I mean, she was throwing up and also having high fever. And when I asked her to see the doctor, she was so sure she's pregnant. See, look, I do not want issues. I just want results from the doctor. Can you hear yourself talk? You sound like a lunatic. You sent someone to a doctor and the doctor couldn't provide result and you're asking me for the result. You are so sure. It was just a high fever. Why don't you call the doctor you sent her to to resent her and the check? If my daughter is not pregnant for you, I will sue you and your miserable family. Now get out. Highness, we are not here for quarrel. We are here to make peace. I said, get out. I don't want to lose it! Get out! Let's go. 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 let how could you be sure when you are not a doctor? Fools. Work on your profile before you're looking for royalties to settle with. Idiots. First two go. First three to come. Uncle, did you just see the way Princess Campbell is dressed in her father's palace like a slave? Did you see that? Hey! I can't my son. I saw that. I'm very surprised about that. Uncle Luke, there's something seriously fishy going on. I think so. And we have to get to the root of this matter. Sure. Go let's leave. Go. Let's leave, please. Hey! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, my just. I thank you for the special package that you give to me and to the other cabinet. I know and I'm very happy you always have our kingdom in your mind whenever you travel to the white man's land. 
Ichioka, as the ruler of this kingdom, I always have the kingdom in mind. <laughs> Your Majesty, I thank the gods for leading you safely from the white man's land to this our great kingdom. You see, you see. It's it was a very smooth journey. Your Highness, I'd have to take my leave. It's okay. <sighs> I regards to everyone in the world. I am sorry for the death of your father. It's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so horrible. My heart goes to your family, my dear friend. I am grateful. Thank you. It's okay. Um, I'll leave the both of you to have a good moment. I'll be in my room. So you let me know before you leave. Okay, I will. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. So that reminds me. You have a stepsister, right? Yes. What about her? You know, um, I've always heard about her. I want to see her one of these days. Oh, please. Kambili is a wayward child. You don't need to meet her. She's either parting from one state to another with her irrelevant friends, or she's somewhere drunk or smoking. Are you serious? E even at this point, the palace is mourning? I have done everything to make her come back, but she has refused. Y you know what? Let us just change the topic, please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So tell me, how about your mom and your sister? They're fine. Are you trying to tell me that they sacked you guys out of the palace and you people didn't deem it fit to take your full salary before leaving the palace? It came, you want to understand. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fight the rich? We are talking about your salary here. Your salary! How will you leave the palace without your full salary? Not even that you had any misconduct and they sacked you guys. You left here without your salary. Okay, my major concern is Princess Cambiru. I don't know how she's coping with them. I don't just know. Listen to me, young woman. Whatever happens in the palace, stays in the palace. We're talking about your salary here. 50,000 naira, that's a big amount of money now. How do we get it? What do you want me to do? What do you want, what do you want me to do? I'm confused. No problem. I know what to do. They cannot eat your money and go free. They cannot eat it and think that they are smart. Nobody will do that. I know what to do. He came, don't go and fight though. He came. He came. Now leave my house. Leave! How dare you? How dare you swine? How dare you raise your filthy voice at me? Have you forgotten who you are shouting at? You slapped me. You dare not! Try it and you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Take it down. Down! Do you realize who you ever shouted at? I am a princess, a royal one at that. As such, you have no right whatsoever to raise your disgusting voice at me. Don't you ever. I have pleaded with you, Ekene. I have begged you countless times to be calm with me. Be calm and be my husband. Come into my world. Let's rule my kingdom together. Forget about my sister, because she's moved on. She's moved into another royalty. I am offering you my kingdom on a platter of gold. Do with it whatever you please, as long as you were my husband. Now listen to me, Princess Somachi. I am not interested 
in whatever throne or bullshit you have to offer. I am not. And now tell me, why have you people turned Princess Kambili into a puppet in a father's palace? Shut up. Shut your disgusting, stinking mouth. You know, what killed the talkative is the fact that he does not mind his business. He dares poke his nose into other people's businesses. Mind what I bring to your table and not what happens in my father's kingdom. I do not care. I do not care. For your information, I do not need whatever you have to offer to me, Ekene. And I would never need anything from you. Now let me tell you this. This would be the last time I am going to tell you this. The next time you try this, you would not like my actions. I promise you this. Now, I want you to leave my house. Leave now! I cannot let you go. The one that I've loved so much. The only through man my heart yearns for. I don't know. I don't know the reason you have always treated me like a piece of trash. The fact that you treat me this way is beginning to get to my nerves. But what baffles me most is the fact that I see myself running to you incessantly, despite all that you do to me. I am begging you, Ikene. Please, don't do this to me. Do not treat me this way. I have committed no crime other than loving you. I, I am. I am just a woman in love. You're the one my heart yearns for. Do not push me away. Give us a chance we cannot let you go. And I promise you, you will never regret it. I will forever be loyal to you. Just marry me. Now are you done? Spilling all the rubbish in your mouth? Please, I can't. Are you done? No. You're not done? No. Now, I want you to kindly use the door. No. Peacefully. Please. Or else, you're not going to like my action in the next... Oh, you want to doubt me? Please. Now leave my house. Leave! Leave! Leave my house! What nonsense? What is it? Eh? What is it? Is it my first to love somebody? What nonsense is this? to tell you this for the last time. Remove your eyes, your mouth, your ears, even your nose from that palace. Whatever goes on there is none of our business. Please. Papa, 
did you see how they are treating Princess Kambili like a slave in her father's palace? Is it even fair? It is not our business. Mind your business. Wow. As far as I'm concerned, it is my business. And I'm going to report that the queen and her daughters to, 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 to the elders of our land. You will do no such thing. Yes. It is not in your place to fight for them. Let the girls do the fighting. So, you're now free to come to the palace at your will. I will come on. There will never be a problem, trust me. That sounds nice. <laughs> Looks more like it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, so oh my good. word. So yes, who's that? Are you alright? What is wrong with you? Um, what do you want? My, 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 my mother, Queen Madam, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just finished cooking your, your, your food, so I, I, I served it. I said I should come and tell you that. Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't you know how to knock and say who you are? You didn't lock the door. Come on, it's nothing. Hmm? She's just a nobody. Do you understand? You think so? I know so. The food is ready. I want us to go eat and come up and Rocket. <laughs> Come on, you, you eat first. You eat first. Let's go and eat. The lioness herself, my beautiful mother. You sure know how to take me all away. Honestly, I enjoyed what I saw today. I enjoyed seeing that girl in pain. Like I always do. Mom, I, I, I loved what you did to her. I loved the punishment. Especially when you asked her to keep lifting those heavy, heavy objects. That made my day was, was a good sight to be home, Mom. Thank you. That's uh, my daughter. Yeah. Lioness begets lioness. Yeah. I can see you're ready to give her a full dose of your own wrath. <laughs> you can actually say that again, Mom. Full dose is an understatement. Hmm. Unleashing is the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come to think of it, Mom. Mm. Um, what happens? If Adure gets married to King Jordan, then you have access to the throne on a platter. Your sister, Princess Adure, won't have any option than to give it to you. You and I know I don't trust your daughter, Mom. I don't. Yes, she's my sister, but she's so freaky snaky. She can easily switch up on me anytime, any day, like without even caring about my emotions. <laughs> about that, I am the queen. I am surprises myself. You don't need to worry. I have everything, everything under my control. When is she getting married to King Judah? She said so. Soon. Okay. Soon. I saw Ekin and his uncle here yesterday. Yeah, they came. What brought them? Hmm? What what? Brought them. Oh, that. 
It's nothing to discuss about. I've sorted it out with Aduri. <laughs> Come off it, Mom. When are you going to stop keeping secrets from me? I didn't get that. A lot of secrets between you and my sister. Maybe you think I'm a child, but I am no more a child. I'm an adult. <laughs> Another secret. Just like you sneaking your man friend into this palace today. Shut him out. No, I will not, Mom. If you do not do my beatings, I won't shut up. Then I have to shut you up. If you make me marry the man of my dreams, if you help me become the queen of this kingdom, that will only make me zip it. Anything other than that. Enough! You will shut me up, man. Yourself. Don't forget your tip. What? Oh yes. Your maid slapped me because I asked her for a glass of water. That thing had the got to spit on my face. Can you imagine that? And you did what? You didn't give her the beating of her life? You just left. That's what I intend to do now. She won't live to tell her story. Do with her how you please us. Just spare her life. Oh, God. God! God! I will not let you lay a finger on her, you idiot. Why would you call him an idiot? Mom. This he goat here, this blinking twat, gold digger, has his eyes on Kambili. Hold on, you, you, you actually think nobody saw you? I saw you. I saw you trying to woe her. Deny it, you blinking idiot. She lied. You shut up. My daughters don't lie to me. So, this is what you do. I warned you. How would you want to be killed? How? Get out. Get, Get out! out! I kill you! Get out! Gold digger. I don't want to see you again. I'm not sure you. Get out! Fool. Very big fool, mom. Hello. Someone is coming out of this gate. Follow him. Shoot him. Dispose his body. Now. Like the food? You do? Do you want more? You do? Okay. Get some more, okay? Okay? Um I I'm going to go inside. I'll get you a change of clothes. Alright? Besides, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Eh? Why'd you always disappear? Now, don't go anywhere. Did you hear me? I'll get you a change of clothes. And also, I'm thinking of getting a clipper to shave your beards. You don't want to shave? Okay.
okay, um, I'm already getting used to everything around here. So don't pity me, okay? He's my stepmother's lover. Her boyfriend. He... He spanked me on my buttocks. I retaliated with his slap. And... He beat me up mercilessly. In the presence of my stepmother and sisters. Don't worry about me. No, it's okay. Let's talk about you. So, you really don't want to shave your hair? See. Do you know you're a fine man? <laughs> See, if you allow me to shave this your hair, eh? And a little... Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Eat your food. What's your name, Seb? Nadozi. Nadozi. Yeah, drink water. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Drink some. Small. It's it up. into the palace. A madman. Have you lost it? No, it is the panache for me. You really have got. What? Will you take this generation of yours out of this palace? And the next time you come back here, you need to it. Come back here. The next time you will try this. Come back here. The next time you will try this rubbish. Best time you cut off your breath and use it for my masturbating procedure. Do you understand me? Get out! Bastard! No, listen, I, I, I can understand that you're mad. Get your useless son out of this place! Retarded souls! What? How dare you? Brother. You look worried. What's the problem? <sighs> My sister. No, I'm happy. But I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you sure? You can talk to me. What's really bothering you? Do you think Princess Adure is the right person for me? Come on, brother. We've talked about this several times. I mean, the little time I've spent with her, she's she's okay and she's well brought up. Or do you want her to come to the palace and stay with us so you can reserve her? No, no. Um, you know, Maya, I don't. I don't want this palace to experience another bad queen. And then again, these ladies have a way of hiding their bad characters for as long as it stands. So that's why I'm bothered. But I understand you, but you really don't have to be. Princess Adure is a nice girl. I mean, she's a well brought up um, lady. And um, I don't want you, I want you to let go of your past. 
I don't want you to keep thinking about it. She's not going to have anything that looks like Annie. I promise you. You know, the elders were worried. They were concerned about the about everything. But I told them that I would take my time. I told them to chill. I have everything under control. And definitely I will take my time. You don't have to worry, brother. I mean, this time you're getting it right. Yes. Yeah. Everything is going to be fine. I have told you to forget about that princess, Dube. Hmm? Forget about her! Listen, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know about nature, she is going to regret every bit of her action. Even her mother has been supporting her. Don't worry. You see how it's going to happen? That is true. Do not worry. Keep calm. I have done my investigation. And I found out that she was pregnant for it. Yes! Yes! She was. And her evil mother instructed her to abort it. And she obeyed the instructions of her evil mother. What? Papa? She aborted my child? Uncle? Wait. She has the mind to abort my child, Papa. There is a young king in a far land we do not know. Are you, are you serious? That has interest in her, in making her the, the queen. Papa? No way. That is why she abandoned you. Can you hear him? Calm down, calm down. No, 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 as they go back. I am very much sure that posterity will judge her. She appointed my child. Uncle, can you relax? My child. You will see something happen. Look, look. You, you are not welcomed in this house. You are not welcomed in my house. Please. Papa. Sit down. Hold on. I cannot sit down. My sister aborted your child, and that's because she wanted a king for Hey, 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 Jebe, hey. Hold it there! You know how to my back? Boom! Much ever. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. We know all the stupid story you want to tell us, and we are not interested. Please, get out of here. Get out! Princess, please, go and leave us as a family so that we can talk. What are you doing? You're sitting there. We said we get back to you. You and who? Uh-uh. Eh? Get back to who? I see. Also. Nonsense. I cannot delete you, Queen. I will become queen of my kingdom in a few weeks to come. Listen. I am not part of whatever it is that is fighting you from the royal home. Come. Be my man. Be by my side. Become my husband. Let's rule the entire kingdom together. I shall give you whatever it is that you even wanted. Fame, power, wealth, all the risks to get from Her Royal Majesty to come. So I indulge you. Please come to me because it will definitely be worth the ride. Come, be my husband. Fiagua, over my look. 
No my son. Ajebola, ajebola aji. Ajebagene, ajebola aji. Yeah, my son cannot be your husband. Princess, I am going to politely ask you to gently leave my house. Leave my house and never come back. Because the next time I have to talk about this, you wouldn't like my actions. And as for you, I am not going to be involved in anything that concerns this matter again. This is the last time. Please. Look, do not dare me. If I go in there and come back here to meet you, don't dare me. Do not dare me. No. Yes. Since you have decided to be the king, behold your queen. This is your palace. I, I cannot understand you, Jehovah. My princess. You can see. It changes, eh? You are the only one that understands what I want. Yes, I do. Very well, I do. Get it done. Trust me, I will do that. Your account details. Zero zero four. Two, three, five, seven, seven, eight, nine, nine. Yes, this is. Sweeping. I just tell me everything is all right. Everything is okay. I'm just um. How, how long has this been going on? What's that? The sweeping now. I'm just exercising myself because I'm bored. There's really nothing. Young man, okay. who are you and what is your mission in this palace? Your Majesty, my name is Iken now. I'm here in respect of my girlfriend, Uju. You relieved her of her duties without settling her. It's not fair now. Eh? It's not palatable to the ears. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. God! God! Who allowed this madman here? You did, Your Majesty. Then you must be silly. Now take him out. No, 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 Your Majesty. No, no. You, we need to settle that girl now. We need to settle her. We need money for, for her mother's drugs now. She's Who in the hospital. Come on. 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 Your Majesty, I will kill this boy too. Come on. Come on. 
you. You talk to everything you see. Isn't it? Try that again. Did you look at Ma? You were giving me tense, right? You were just have me. I didn't look at I didn't even see you, Ma. I didn't see I didn't you see You didn't see me. I didn't Am I invisible? I've not seen you today. Am I invisible? No. I'm sorry. Your gown so that you don't fall. Shut your mouth. I know it used to be your mother's clothes and then it's mine now. Mine! Only mine! Sweep. I really want you to be nice. I want my brother to choose you as the queen. You know? I really can't wait for you to be here. I understand. But trust me, there's no need for the wash. I shouldn't even fake it at all. If it's going to work, then it's going to work out. You are right. The thing is, I really like you. You know? If you observe, my brother is always observing you whenever you come to the palace. I just want you to be your receive. So that he will be quick and taking you as the queen. I see. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to be with you guys over here. But trust me, we have to give it time. There's no rush in here and there's no need to fake it. <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> I just can't wait to have you here. You will. <sighs> oh, so, let's talk about something else apart from the brother. <laughs> So what do you want to say? I'm so sorry. Okay? Sorry about everything. They beat me in the head. They beat me in the head. They, they slapped me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Listen, I'm going to go inside and get you a change of clothes. Alright? And then I'm I'm also going to get a clipper so that I can I can bab your hair. You don't want to bob your hair. You know, if you bob your beard and your hair, you're going to appear clean. No. Okay, no problem. Um, I'll also get you something to eat. Will you eat? You eat, right? I'm coming, okay? Don't go anywhere. Or just wait for me. Did you hear me? Stay here and wait. Do not move, okay? Where is he? 
key. But ask him to wait here. Madman. Mm -hmm. He has left. Huh. But I asked him to wait for me now. I don't expect anything positive from you. Madman, that is why he's a madman. Oh no. I am telling you what I saw at the palace. Not the sacking of the royal staffs. My friend, will you shut up and conduct yourself? Tell me what I want to hear. You mean to tell me that our own princess eh, is being treated like a maid in her own father's palace? Huh. Oh no, Wu. Oh no, Wu. I am telling you that I saw the princess looking like a total stranger. Total stranger! What? Even the maids in the palace, they look more beautiful than her. Oh. I see. No smoke without fire. This could be one of the reasons she told us never to go to the palace again until further notice. But let me ask you, Ikena, are you sure of what I just told me? Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm giving you a vital information, a legit update. Legit update. You people should go to the palace and see for yourself. Hello, man. It's okay. Thank you so much, my son. Thank you. I know what to do. You can now go. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You people should do something about this matter. You people should do something about this matter. Otherwise, this will lead to a protest in this village. Oh. It will lead to a big protest in this village. I don't get that. Hmm. I said, I'm saying it. Leave this place. It is a protest. Hey, but why must this happen? Princess Kambiri is supposed to feel free in her father's palace, not to be turned into a maiden. I will not speak to you about this. According to your tradition, you have to get married first before you declare the burial of your father. Yes, you're right. Well, you didn't tell me the part of you succeeding your father. Well, that's because I thought you knew much about our rules and traditions. Mm. But hence we're getting married, I have decided to give it to my younger sister. Interesting. But you have a stepsister. Yes, I do. And she is Ada. So why not just give it to her instead of your younger sister? That one. She is never interested. As a matter of fact, she has nothing to do with the throne. She does not want to have anything to do with the, the palace. That's quite strange, you know. You see, I would love to see your stepsister. How can I see her? Really? Yes. Well, that, that should be whenever she returns. And when she does, trust me, I will bring her to your palace. Please do. Yeah, and one more thing. About the... Are you expecting someone? Good to see you, my princess. See you, princess. Greetings. My princess, we heard that you came to our kingdom and we have decided to come and say hello to you. Yes, my princess. We are part of the girls that came to your kingdom the other day that you helped, you gave us money, you established us. So we are here to say thank you for your generosity and kindness. Wow. Oh, I don't even know them. I help a lot of people on a daily basis, despite their communities. Yes, you bought me a sewing machine and a generator for my shop. God will continue to bless and increase you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you so much. And please, do not forget to always spread love wherever you are. Yes, Goodbye, my princess. princess. Thank One you. more thing, my princess. We would like you to be our queen in this kingdom. Yes, we would like you to be our queen. <laughs> bye, bye, my princess. Bye. 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 
I love seeing smart women. Very hardworking. That's quite impressive. You know, you have a very good heart. You can say that again. And I'm also thinking of um, building an orphanage for the homeless and the orphans. Wow. That's huge. Right? Yeah. Well, it's good. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, girls, I just did the transfer. Have you gotten it? I've seen it. <laughs> you guys did a wonderful job. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Thank you. My Thank princess. you. Ha. Thank Mama, you. Nice I don't one. get money for cream. Oh, I wish you for Very good. She's there to see how things are going. Oh no, may I know why you insist on asking after her as if she's missing? Yes, actually, she seems missing because we all know Princess Campbell. Really? Yes, a very popular maiden and the uh, princess of this kingdom. Two weeks now or thereabouts, we have not seen this wonderful princess of this kingdom. We have not seen her. Drive about, greeting people here and there, and feeling for people, and people relating with her as usual. We are missing her. The kingdom is missing her. The, the villagers are missing her. We need to know about her. What, what about? Yes. Secondly, Asina, Oku Nagawara Wara, Aya Nagawara Wara Nafuya. What we've been hearing about this particular princess is not anything to write home about. Not palatable to us at all. I mean, we need to know about her what about. In fact. Oh no. Whatever it is you heard about my sister is total rubbish. Like my mother said, she traveled to London to supervise my father's business over there. Hmm. Of course. She's in London working for the betterment of this royal home. When will she be back? When she's done. It's an emergency. She is not playing there. Our uh, queen, I've heard what you said. I will pretend as if what the princess so much said is just childish. I wasn't have had rubbish. I am the prime minister of this kingdom. And you know that. Now, this is the second issue. Which is? Why is it that Princess Adure is not yet married up to now? Why is it that Princess Adure is not yet married? She needs to get married so we can go ahead and crown her uh, queen. Yes. Then we'll now bury her father, the king. And those things will be, will, will be laid aside. I will be crowned queen after my father, Onobu. Huh? Hello. Hey, my princess. You did not say such a thing. Huh? Uh, uh? Huh? Princess Somachi. <laughs> my sister will relinquish the crown to me, and I will be made queen. Princess Somachi. I heard you very clearly. You said that you will become our queen. <laughs> Please, for your information, you are the second daughter of this royal family. Ask your mother the rest of the questions surrounding it. Laughing at me will be tantamount to your position as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. So be very careful. So be careful. Hey, my princess. Ask your mother. Go back to her. Ask her. Mother? Say something. Tell them, mother. So much. Tell them. Enough!
My elders, apologies. The cabinet meeting will be rescheduled. I will summon you in no time. Sorry, Your Majesty. Hmm? Apologies are stained. Hmm? Elders, Onadia. Oh, Onadia. Hmm? Onadia. Onadia. If it were, we must leave fast. The thing has started to go. Remain in your room till further notice. You did, but, but um, Princess Adri asked me to come and sweep the entire compound. That's what I'm doing. You do as I say. It's not my orders in this palace, okay? Have your head chopped off. Be quick with this and come attend to me. You're doing squatting instead of sweeping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for your miserable self. The fact that you're still breathing next to me disgusts me. By the time I become the queen, I will make sure you vanish from this palace. And oh, how do I look? I am asking you, idiot, how do I look? You look good. Good. Your hairs, clothes, jewelries, everything that you ever own, they are all mine now. And there is nothing you can do about it. Swine. Let me not wait for you at the count of ten. I don't want to hear. Hush! No. I don't just believe those people. Something very serious happened in that palace. How can Princess Camry travel out to her community without putting her father to mother head? Eh? Huh? Oh no. The worst is that I've been trying to reach Princess Camry on phone. But her line is not connected. Well, I keep trying. Something is wrong. Somewhere. I have these feelings that Ikenna is not lying to us. Yes. The young man did not just make up that story, but I've seen something. <sighs> I believe the young man, Queen Agatha and her daughters, are lying to us. Yes. <laughs> but let us just pretend until we see the end. <laughs> so why have I not heard from you for some days now? My princess, uh, I, I, I've, been, I've been around, but the issue there is that uh, but I want to ask you something. Just something is getting me confused. Is Ekene the only man in the whole of this community you must marry? Will you shut your filthy mouth, you old hag? How dare you question my authority? You were paid to work. 
not to cast some questions. You made me understood that you were capable of doing this job. Am I wrong? Never correct. So what happened to your nerves? Why are they slacking all of a sudden? My princess, I am still very capable. I know I am capable, but you see that Ekene, that boy, is a very stubborn boy. When I look at that boy, I can still see love in, in, in his face. He still loves your sister so much. Shut up. Shut your gut and feel him out. And don't rub nonsense to my face. My sister is getting married to a king. And whatever it is that happens there is not your business. Your business is to get the job done. Get Ekene to marry me by hook or by crook. I don't care whether he loves me or not. Your job is to get him marry me. And that is what you're going to do. Am I clear on that? My princess, you, 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 made, you, you made it very clear. Now I am promising you once again. Ekene, whether you love him or he does not love you, he must marry you. I will make it happen. He must marry you. That's my promise. Now you listen real good, you old hag. No one eats from me without doing their job. I paid you handsomely to get him married to me. Yes. By hook or by crook, failure to execute that, you will face my ugly wrath. My princess, I will never fail. Get out. I will never fail. Get out. Your sister would help you become the queen of this kingdom. Or is she going to be the one finding the man for you? You need a husband. You need a real man. Yes. Not all those little, little boys you open your legs up for. You're a queen in waiting. So you behave like a queen in waiting. Hold on, mom. What do you take me for? You think I'm a kid, right? You actually think I'm a baby. Why do I have this feeling that you and Adure are playing a fast one on me. I beg your pardon? Yes, don't beg my pardon at this point, mom. Excuse me. Why do I feel that way? Listen, Adure might be too smart to get away with whatever she does, but not to play a smart one on me. Mm -hmm. I can see your mind is made up. And what in the green world is going on here? Why did you not say anything? Please sit. sit. Hmm. Okay, so to you, my elder sister, why did you not say anything when I was speaking to the elders about me becoming the queen? Why did you not affirm my utterance? Why did both of you shut me up in that manner? Why? What don't you understand? I said, why? Well, young woman, watch your mouth. Are you crazy? Don't talk to me in that manner. Have you lost it? I am not arguing it with you. I have already promised to make you the queen, right? What else do you want? If you promise to make me the queen, why are you still then communicating with Chief Collins? What? Ch Chief Collins? Yes, Chief Collins. You don't know I'm aware. I am as bad as you are. I learned from you. I watch every of your steps. You cannot overshadow me. Don't even think that I am daft. For crying out loud, that man was once your sugar that Are you mad? Have you lost it? No, have you gone bananas? What? What the hell do you think you want to talk to me in that tone? Watch your mouth! If you must know, Chief Collins was once your daughter's sugar daddy. 
and he also wants the crown desperately. Listen, both of you, if I do not become the queen, I will disgrace both of you. In fact, I will destroy you. I will tell the elders what you've done to get to this point. How would you connive to kill my dad and Queen Ola? Don't you dare me! Shh. Are you seeing Chief Collins? Mother, I am not seeing Chief Collins. Come off it. She's just having an integrated disease. I'm not. Believe me. Queen of Oro Kingdom, you are welcome. Thank you, Great One. What brings you to my shrine? Great One, I want you to help me. I want my daughter to be crowned queen after her father. Who is Kambili? My stepdaughter. Hmm. She is a queen. I see her ruling over your children. May the gods forbid. I see a crown over her head. I see your children, your two daughters. Their names are Adure and Somachi. I see them bowing at her feet. And I see your husband smiling at the end like a victor. No, this can't be. You need to help me. My first daughter, Adure, is the first fruit of the palace. She's supposed to succeed her father. She's to be crowned the next queen after me, after her father. She's my first lord. You will have to kill the queen, your co-wife. When you kill her, the mission will be aborted. For the king loves her so much that he will do anything for her and her daughter. But do not, I repeat, do not attempt to kill the princess or send her away. What about the king, my husband? What if he crowns our queen over my children? Because I know that he loves her more than he loves my children. Your daughters are stubborn, disobedient, and arrogant to their father. Should a father consider his stubborn child to sit on his throne? Hmm. That father should be a foolish one. What must I do? Then get ready to take off the king as well. Help me. You will have to help yourself. I have only told you the future. It is left for you to thwart it or you leave it. Okay. Okay. Ebu kid. Wan buse. Ebu na ni ye kalelia. Ti win. All right. I have to twat the future. future. You are not serious, are you, Mom? I'm telling you what is about to happen. I've discussed this with Adore before now. That will not happen, Mom. 
because I will never let Kambli rule over me as a queen in this kingdom. Come on, mom. She's my mate. We are age mates. How, How is that even possible? Well, I, I just said it. It is going to be over my dead body that I will let that happen. <laughs> that will not happen. Just so you know. I am certain that your father wants to favor Olama and her daughter. And you know who your father is. What he says stands. You have to take it easy. I have spoken to our children and I believe they will turn a good leaf soon. With the way Adura is going, I'm scared she cannot succeed. No. My lord, you cannot do otherwise. Adura is your first daughter. The crown belongs to her. She owns the crown. I don't care. She has to impress me. Oh, and it's quite disheartening that even Somachi has followed suit. These are my children, I feel concerned too. My lord, like I said, Adure is your first daughter. She's the first daughter of this kingdom. My lord, Adure owns the crown. And I shall continue to talk to her and her sisters. Please, my lord. Stop praising Kambiri, my daughter, in front of them. It will make them feel unloved. My lord, I don't want Adura and Sumachi to start casting aspiration over their own blood. I don't care. I don't care how they feel. Really? Yes. Kambiri at her age, she, she finished her education and still, she's still a virgin. You are aware of that. She's the one that is running the family's company. She's the one that foresees that money is coming in every day in and out. And nobody's complaining about that. What does these other girls do? They fly in, come here, take whatever that is here. They don't know how Cambry is suffering and laboring to make that money and off they fly again. Is that what life is all about? Yes, no, no, I don't want that to continue. I already have my plans. My lord, I know Kambiri is the one making all the money. But like I said, Adure is your first daughter. The crown belongs to her. I don't want people to start talking. I am not from this kingdom. You cannot do otherwise. I don't care. Yes. You, you do not care? I said I don't care. Mm. Then I retire to my chambers. I don't care. You are my first wife. You are supposed to be guiding your daughters in the right direction, but you are the one aiding them, you know, chasing waterfalls instead of the rivers they are used to. Yes, and that is absolutely wrong. Well, you don't like them. Yes, you don't, do you? I love all my children. Of course, I don't discriminate. Of that you already know. I have given them the best life can offer. Education, good life, name them. Even though they are females, I do not care. I don't discriminate. I don't joke with any of them. And you are aware of that. So there's something they are lacking. Your unconditional love. I don't know what you're talking about. They don't have it. Of all the things you counted, where is the intimacy between father and daughters? We 
just what? What was that? <laughs> My friend, I'm very happy that finally Princess Adure is getting married very soon. Mm -hmm. At least marriage will make her drop some of her excesses. Mm. You're right. To make her become a responsible woman. Exactly. That is what the uh, king has always been complaining about her. I believe this marriage will make her view life in a different way. You're right. This chicken is so sweet. Thank you very much. You made it? Yeah. Mm. You want some more? I can't wait to have some more. Really? Honestly. Let me tell the maiden to get some more for you. Mm. You like it, eh? I love it. Um, oh, Olive. Please, I need to go out and see what the preparation looks like. Oh, really? Please, eh? Don't forget, they should get the meat. No problem. I'm counting. No problem. Just bring them to bring it to my quarter. Huh? I'll be waiting. Okay. No problem. I'm right behind you. Right behind you. Anything at all. Even if it means to kill, steal, destroy. What? What do you. What do you have me do? Did I not tell you I was going to deal with you? Did I not say that to you? I told you, pray. Pray because I will deal with you. A slave you are and a slave you forever remain. That is what I want. I was talking and you were talking. Talk now. Are you now dumb? You imbecile. Talk. Talk back at me. Talk back at me. That's what I say. You can't talk anymore. Talk back at me now. Talk back at me. I am talking to you. You're not my sister again. You're not my elder sister again, right? Nonsense. Let, 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 let me see how you wear all those hair. All, all the hairs that, 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 that your stupid mother bought for you. Come and wear them, let me see. Get out! Talk back at me. Talk back at me, Kambili. You imbecile of a human being. You talk to me. Talk back at me now. I waited for this day. I patiently waited for this day to finish you. I am not done with you. You're staring at me in that manner. Why are you staring at me like that? Talk back at me, you octopus of... I don't even know what to call you. What are you? What are you? Let me... Tell me what to call you. How dare you try to talk my son into marrying Princess uh, Adura's uh, younger sister? Why? For what? No, what's the meaning of that, 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 that stupid nonsense? Why? Is your fault? Eh? Is that why you're shouting? Why would I shout? Can't you understand this? Understand what? If your son marries the princess uh, Somachi, uh -huh. definitely he will become the king. So why why can't you understand it? Understand what? Why are you listening to your enos? Eh? 
Oh, wait. Because of stupid royal benefits, you, you, you want to talk my son into licking the ass, the very dirty ass of, 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 of that stupid idiotic game? Eh? Why? For what? Is this, I don't want that. Is your I don't want any stupid royal benefits from that stupid royal household. I don't want anything from them. Hey, Jeffrey, don't judge from that angle. That the Haida's sister messed up does not mean that her junior sister is bad. This Somachi is a good girl. Yes. What makes you a good girl? So you don't know. You, you don't know. from the same stupid royal household? Listen to me. I don't want anything from that royal household. I don't want anything from the king. I don't want anything from the queen. I don't want anything from their useless daughters. Please, I don't ever want to hear that you went to my son's house to bamboozle him or to, to try to convince him to do that nonsense, to, that stupid thing you, you have in your head. I don't want it. Hey. I don't want what? him to marry from the royal household. Please, just stop it right now. Hey, stop for stop. All of us will benefit. Stop. All of us will benefit. Uh, who doesn't like good thing? Hey, Jofo. Uh -huh. So this boy told his father to come and warn me. Hey. <laughs> I'm in trouble because I, I, I don't take bribe. I don't have eating bribe. I don't know. This girl will come after me and my own is finished. I will run away from this community. Go to the township and stay with my daughter so that I will be safe. This girl will kill me with, 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 with her wickedness. That's all I will do. <laughs> bribe. Hey. I'm in trouble. Your Highness. What else are we waiting for? The throne is empty and the queen has to be crowned. We can no more wait. More so, our festival is fast approaching. We cannot celebrate without the queen. Your Highness, please do something towards this direction. Do something very quick. The daughter of late King Alfred, Princess Adore, is the best woman for you. Your Highness, she is a queen from birth. Elelewe John, Okura Wango, Ugobechi, Ehonwa. This girl is the best for you, Your Highness. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Ichi Amade here is right. In fact, we have gone to consult the gods with all the necessary requirements. And they have proved that uh, Princess Adure is your rightful wife. And that was why your first marriage with a, uh, Queen Annie failed. Because she was not your wife. But Princess Adure is your wife. Please do something. Our kingdom needs a queen. Please, Your Highness. Please. Brother, I think the others are right. We really need a queen before the festive period. My elders. My dear sister, I've heard everything you said. But the truth remains that I won't be in a haste to do anything. I need to take my time. But then again, I assure all of you that in no distant time, we will go to Oru Kingdom get their princess and marry her as my wife. <laughs> Your Highness, which date? Time. We are inquisitive to know because we have to get prepared. It's okay, we will schedule another meeting right here in my palace. Then we can discuss the time and the date. That shouldn't be a problem. It's all right. Your 
Brother, you know I will always support you. As long as the decision you are making is good for the both of us. Maya. Brother. Marriage is not what you think it is. Marriage is way beyond all the king and queen bubbles. I don't want to be victim of hate, anger, uncertainties. Adure has proven that she is a well brought up lady. Yes. But there is something I asked her to do for me and I'm still waiting for that. And what is that? A lesson. I don't want to rush into marriage. I feel marriage is something that we just have to take our time. We should take our time, know each other, understand each other, know if it's going to work or not. I'll be with my friend, I understand you. I mean, I know where you're coming from, but you see, my brother, our king, he cannot keep residing on the throne without a queen. Besides, our festive season is fast approaching, you know? I really need both of you to like maybe come together and work out this marriage of a thing. I really do think so. Okay, you know, I don't want to sound like some desperate woman. But I think about it. I mean, if it makes you happy, I will gladly do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. So what about your stepsister? Nah. What are we saying now? Yes, this weekend. You know, Kambli is one psycho fanatic coconut head. Trust me. I can't wait for you to meet her. You will see what I am talking about. I just hope she does not disgrace me. No, no, no. I don't think she will. Really? I don't think she will. Just bring her. <laughs> um, I'm Chet. <laughs> They killed my parents. They killed my mommy. Look at what they did to me. Oh Lord. Look, just look at me. Oh, no. I will expose them. I will have to leave this palace. I will run. I will tell everyone in the kingdom. I need to tell the elders. I need to tell Ono. Yes, I have to go now. What did you conclude with the Obudu elders? Well, mother, they are still trying to make him reason. You know, I just can't wait to leave this palace and become the queen of Obudu Kingdom. Why don't you quit the pretense and go tell him how you feel? Are you forcing me? No. But we all know how desperate you've been to occupy that position. What changed? I mean, why, who, who are you hiding it from? Me or mom? Watch your mouth. I wasn't talking to you, you loud, pig-mouthed idiot. Mom, you started it. Must sister always abuse me? Did I say anything wrong now? Exactly, you did. Why can't you be at peace with your spirit? Who, who is that? Mimi! Oh. Wait! 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 Oh. Wait! 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 Wait!
Going on, she was trying to escape from the palace. I want to go, I want to leave this place. Okay, I don't want to be here anymore. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Just let me go. I want to go. You evil and demonic queen. What? What is this? What is this? What do you mean? Did you just call my mother? You heard me. Evil people, monsters! How oh, crazy! Oh, oh, oh. I want to go! I want to go! I want to go! Just let me go! I want to go! I want to go! Gat! I want to Take her away! Lock her up! And give her the bitch of her miserable, pathetic life! Leave me! Now move! Move! Oh. You stand up! I move it! Leave me alone! Leave me! I said she leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I spit on your grave! Evil people! Monsters! That's what you are! Wait! I want you to lock her up. Henceforth, she's a prisoner in this palace. Lock her without food. I'm not your prisoner! Yes. I am not your prisoner! Such a nuisance. He's More. thinking one of that. I don't understand the reason this idiot is still alive. Why is she still in this palace? You can actually make her mad or you disappear. Not now. That time will come. It has to be one thing at a time. It's a guy that will first. So back to our discussion. Hmm. Come tell me more about the dealings of Obodu. Kingdom! Kingdom. <laughs> I want to know. Yes! My queen, we are not happy. In fact, we are over worried. We are sad. We want to know the whereabouts of our princess. Can be a princess of this kingdom, a maiden of this kingdom. We need to know about her whereabouts. You told us that she went to London to that time. And up till now, we've never heard anything about her or her whereabouts. Not in known of her. Now we need the international number of that daughter of ours, Kambiri, so that we call her and hear things from her, ourselves. I don't have it. You don't have it? Hmm. This is not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. My queen, you say you don't have it. Well, why didn't you send your own daughter, Princess Adore, to London? Yes, you would have sent her. I don't believe your story is not clear to me. In any case, I want to see the princess, Queen Uloma's daughter here. That's all. Well, She'll be back and you will see her. When is she coming back? When will she be back? Eh? She'll come back and you will see her. I don't want the guards of this kingdom to embarrass elders like you. With all due respect, we are still mourning a king and a queen in this palace. And I want you to accord this household that respect. If you don't trust your queen, I will give you the address to the king's company, your late king's company in London. You go there and see Cambly yourselves. I was on the call when they told me that you guys came. Hey. So I would love to go and finish what I was doing before you interrupted my business call. Hmm. This is not happening. Oh no. Mm -hmm. She walked out on us. Mini what? Huh? Well, what is happening here? Can someone tell me what the matter is? Is this happening in our kingdom or? 
Well, oh no. I will say that when a man sets out for a journey and has even not arrived at his destination, the journey still rests on his feet. In any case, I don't think the queen is paying our intelligence. I don't really think so. I think you are right. We are be on our own. We are not on our own. But in this case, this is just the beginning of the whole thing. This is not the end of this. No problem, let's go. This is not happening. It is not happening. We cannot be doing I do not want to believe that you men of Obudu are playing with me. Are you? No, my princess. We are not. How can we play with you? So why is it taking your king so much time to come and marry me? For goodness sake, I paid you heavily for this. 500,000 Naira is not a lame business. I'm sorry, my prince, my princess. Uh, 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 please, calm down. Please, let me explain. We have been trying our best for our king to marry you. And we even lied to him. He promised us that very soon that he will come to your kingdom and marry you, please. We will try to... Enough! I do not want any more excuses. It should not exceed this week. Else, you will feel my wrath. God forbid, my princess. Excuse me. This madman is me. Where this madman is, he is coming from? Eh? Evil people. Yeah, yeah, not planning on who to kill. Can you take your disgusting, irritating shirtless self out of this place? Well, yeah, not planning how to kill my friend. What to kill my friend again? Get out! You madman! Come on, get out from this place! Where is my friend? Where is my friend? Where is my friend? Ha! Dejected homo sapien. And you, better get back to me before the week exceeds. Excuse me. I want you to be on my side. I don't want the Ono or the youths of this community to start questioning the disappearance of Kambili. Can I be honest with you? She's alive. In fact, she's somewhere around us. Yes. You're married for my kindred. Your late wife was my sister, and we were best of friends. Or have you forgotten? I don't want you to join forces in troubling me. Are you assuring me that our princess, Princess Canberra, is alive? You know that once the funeral is announced, she will be needed to give her last respect to her father, our king. She will do just that. She will be at the funeral. I just want you to be on my side. My queen, what do you want me to do? I heard that Ono is planning on staging a protest. Youths of this kingdom getting them to come to the palace demanding 
about Kambili's whereabout, who raised so many eyeballs and shoulders. I don't want that protest to hold, and I do not want this topic to be ever discussed in this kingdom. I will tell you about everything in due time. Trust me, I will. Don't just allow them. Can you, can you just stop it? Seriously, you can't be chewing gum like some parent decal prostitute. You can't. Yes, this please. is someone's palace. See, see, eh? Sis, leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is my, this is my life. By the way, what are we doing here? I told you I hate to come to this place. What are we doing here? See. You can't live my life for me. You can't. This is my life. I am Princess Kambili, not you. Can you be calm for a moment? At this point, you are embarrassing me and people are looking at us. Is she your stepsister? Yes, she's my older sister. Do you have a... I, I'm, 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 I want to smoke my weed for you. You don't feel me? What? You can't do that here. This is a palace. Excuse me. I cannot do what? Are you mad? You cannot smoke. Are you mad? Palace. You are the one that is mad. Are you okay? You are the one that is. You are the one that is very mad. You tell me how to eat. Your sister has already told me about Will it. Please shut up. I'm saying it. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. I'm just living my life. And you don't have the right to tell me how I'm going to live it. Do you hear me? But I'm respecting you. That's why. I would have been to stop. Are you mad? How dare you tell me how to live my life? Right. You must be very stupid. You are mad. Will you shut up? You are coming to a palace of smoke. Are you okay? okay. Please okay. get out from here, Jare. Are you the king? Why will you tell me how to live my life? Princess Maya, it's okay. It's okay. Uh-uh. Yes, palace. See, 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 see. Don't, don't you ever, in your, in your whole life, tell me how I'm going to live my life. All right? Don't do that. You can't just smoke in this palace, not so. That was a wonderful display. So this is for you. Voila. Anytime you need me, I'm always available. Hey, <laughs> the mission is achieved. Okay. All thanks to you. Right. Stop it. I'll drop you off.
Tip me! Tip me, no! Tip me, no, you got some of those! Tip me! Tip me, no! Tip me, no! Tip me, no! Chief Collins may be your favorite, but we, the people of Orumba Kingdom, want to see our princess Kamile Chugu. Yes, we want to see her with our naked eyes. We want to see her alive. We want to see her. So we, all of us will talk. You don't want us to bury my father, the king, right? All I am saying is that I want Chief Collins to take over the throne. Let him wear the crown, whereas I get married to King Jordan of Ubuntu Kingdom. <laughs> Congratulations, my princess. That's a good idea. What we are seeing is that our princess, Kambiri Chuku, must be present in that palace. She is an adult like you. And we must not discuss anything in the palace without her. We want to see her. We want to see her. We want to even, I mean, talk with her. She is part of the marriage. She will be part of it. All of us will rejoice together. It's a good thing we are, we are about to encounter. Eh? Please. All right. Understand me. My princess, understand what I mean. I'm um, just coming back from the market. Um, remind me that your name again. <laughs> Amara. Eh, uh, Amara, that's right. Why yes, not sir. hop in? Let me drop you off where I'm going to. Oh, thank you, sir. It's really been a while. Come on, let me drop you off. It's okay. <laughs> That was how she sucked us without paying us our salary. Well, um, Amara, as for me, I don't like to talk about that family anymore because they really did me dirty. I mean, they treated me so bad. Anyway, except for the king and his late wife. So sorry about that. It's okay. Anyway, I do rethink she's smart, mm -hmm. but I'm sure she will regret this. Definitely. I'm so sorry for everything they did to you. So, so sorry. Well, it's okay. Well, um, one more favor. Okay, what's that? Um, I'm actually hosting some men from my club this weekend. Oh, so I would okay. love for you to prepare me your favorite vegetable soup. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll you be sure? Yes. So I'm counting on you. Mm -hmm. No problem, I'll be there. So um, I'll pick you this weekend so you can come make the soup. Okay. All right. Okay. Do have a lovely day. You too. Really yeah. nice seeing you again. Same here. Bye. Yeah. Enjoy your day. It's always painful to see you like this, especially when a child has pain for the sins of the mother. Like you're doing. 
you're so beautiful and innocent. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Huh? Does it really matter? You know, honestly, I do not know what to do with you. I don't. I don't know what to do with you again. Just kill me. Huh? Kill me. I want to go and join my mother and my father and they will be so happy to receive me. Okay? Kill me. Why would I do that? That's not part of the plan. You see, I, 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 I can't soil my hands with your blood. Then let me go. Go? Let me go. I want to be out of this place for your children. Just let me go. Why would you be thinking of doing such? This, this whole place, this, 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 I mean, this is your father's palace. Why would you be thinking of leaving? You are the almighty princess, Kambili. The one and only favorite. Your palace will be empty when you're gone. So why do you want to go? No, you can't. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. I'm hungry. I'm tired and I'm weak. I, I, I need water. Can you please give me water to drink? Please. You're hungry? <laughs> tired? Thirsty? Why? Have you not been passing, Yorin? Have you not been passing? Service? You should use that for your food and drink. Receive says. Don't you want to go to heaven when you die? You want to live hungry? Come on. You need to enjoy doors. Please, you. Please, please just let me go. Please let me go. Please, I beg you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Why? Aduri, I want to ask for your hands in marriage. Is we... that supposed to be a proposal? Yes. But I want to do it in your kingdom, in front of everybody. I want you to marry me. Then if we're getting married, what stops you from making love to me? We need to do the right thing. Okay? I just want you to understand. It's okay. Princess Somachi is soon to be crown queen. I I admire the fact that you're proving stubborn with me. That's that's a taste of love, right? I I love every bit of it. 
but don't stretch it too much. Because whatever Princess Somachi wants, she gets. Well, my dear Princess Somachi. Princess Somachi. If you must know, I do not eat two sisters, and I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Come off it. How, how can you be talking about eating two sisters? Come on. When did you become a carnivorous animal that you feed on human flesh? That is awkward. Don't say that again. Anyways, you already know how much I, I, I want you. So it's not a big deal to actually clean you up, right? Clean you up to my taste and standard. Clean you up in such a way that you will fit into the society of my social status. So, I hardly change my mind on what I want. Whatever Princess Somachi, the crown queen in waiting wants, she gets. Princess Somachi, I have told you countless times without numbers that I do not need your love friendship or whatever you have to offer. But yet, you keep showing up at my place whenever you want and proposing this love that I've told you that I don't need. Oh, come on. Don't you have some atom of shame? No. Like I said before, when it comes to the one that I genuinely love, I am shameless totally shameless and need I remind you again that I am the crown queen in waiting whatever I want princess so much gets well, let that sink well I would advise you walk away with some sense of pride and prestige like a queen you claim to be. Keep it. I, again, do not need it. Shut up. You talk too much. In your wildest dreams.
some money or some food. Let me, let, let me. What do you want? Um, I think I've seen him before. Really? The other time at the mall, right? Yes. So what does he want? I'm sure he wants some money or food. Get him something now. Get him food or money. What do you think? Okay, um, let's go. Take, take this food and this water. Make sure the madman eats it. And when he's done eating, drive him far away from this land. I do not want the madman dying in this palace. Do you understand me? Yes, my presence. Poisoned your food. She wants you to die. Your friend is not here. She was locked up in the palace. Here. I want to see my friend. I want to, I want, I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend Cambly. I want to see my friend Cambly. I want to see my friend Cambly. Give plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty. Money plenty. I don't need any money. I will take you to where your friend is. But promise me you won't be violent. Okay, good. I know you're not a violent person. Come, let's go. I will take you to where your friend is. Okay, let's go. Maya, I am so sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to go and feed the madman. If I don't give him food by myself, he won't eat it. Really? Yes. Well, are you that close? Not really. I just wish I had the scissors. I would have cut off those dirty hairs and beards. Wow. You have such a good heart. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking of building an um, orphanage. We need one. That's nice and a rehabilitation center for the mentally sick people. Mm. Your brother would like that idea, of right? Of course. Hmm. My brother would love to support you. I mean, our company would like to support because it's for humanity. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, what do I offer you? I'm fine. No, you can't be fine. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. If you say so what so. about your mom? Um, she's fine. Everyone is fine. Good to hear. So have you been? I've just been there. <laughs> Nadozi, so you came to see me. I'm so happy to see you. God bless you for coming here. Stop. Don't cry. Okay? Stop crying. Look at me. Stop crying. I am going to be fine. I am going to be... I'm going to be alright and I'm going to be out of this place. Okay? Um, have you... Have you had something to eat? I am not eating. Look. Very soon. Hmm? Everything is going to be all right. But I need your help. Now, does it look at me? You're my only friend. You're the only friend that I have. I need your help, okay? I need you to listen to me and listen very carefully, okay? I need you to go out there. Hmm? Go into the village. Tell everyone you see. Tell them everything that you know. Did you hear me? Tell them that the queen and her daughters, are you listening to me? They killed my mother, Queen Ola. And they also killed the king, my father. I, I, I overheard them in a conversation. The queen and her daughters were in an argument and I heard everything. Oh, they needed to help me carry this information out there. I know you're listening. I know you understand what I'm saying. Hmm? Tell them I'm in prison. I'm in cell. I need help. 
I want to be out of this place. Tell them everything, please. Go. Listen. So go. You have to go. 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 Now, this is what. Listen. Go. Obi, let's go. I can help to step. Come. See. Take him. Just take him. You have to go. Let's go. Let's go. If the police find 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 me here, I'll be in trouble. Let's go, please. Let's go, please. Let's go. My princess. And where is your colleague? I did not see him, my princess. And where is the madman? I have not seen him also, my princess. You did not see him? You're very stupid. You just sit here in the palace and eat like a fool. I'm sorry, my princess. Shut up your trap! I pray I find him. Fool. Look at you. You look like an unprecedented beggar. You are going to die inside here. Toothless bull. I'm not going to die in here. I can smell freedom. I can smell freedom. My freedom is near. God, please bring Nadozie back. <sighs> Let him get help. Outside the kingdom, as you've instructed. Without a car. We enter the bush. I thought you said nobody left the palace. My princess, he's telling lies. He never left the palace. My princess, I left the palace. He was not at the gate when we left. That's oh. not true. I've been here. It's okay. You did what I asked you to do, right? Yes, my princess. That's what matters. Thank The chain did not just change overnight. Something must have gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> Something like what? Each year. I have forgotten that if a quick late wife from the same kingdom with Queen Agatha. Eh? Hey! You must be taking side. Get the, the, the trouble. Get the, the nonsense. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? I don't really know. What? If I catch you, I will kill you. Get away from there. Get away. Get out. Get out! Who will you get out? Fool me. Am me. I the one that made you mad? I don't know. Huh? Won't I have peace again? We are suffering from uh, uh, all these instant calamities. Then the one my spoon has come in as an addition. My brother, Ichie Ibekwe, I heard you very clearly. But one thing I want you to understand is this. Ukunaga Warawara. Ayanaga Warawara. Yeah. Eh? The whole thing will come to the limb light. Just calm down for the meantime. Calm down. I must unravel the mystery behind it. Oh no. You do say that Princess Adora want us to crown Chief Collins as the king of our kingdom? Yes. So she said. But it cannot happen. Really? Yes. Really? As long as I remain the only one of this great kingdom. That well, must not happen. Hmm. And listen again. Yes. I did not give her any audience. Good. I told her I won't grant her audience on this. Until Better. we set her eyes on Princess uh, Kambi. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> oh no. Hmm? Kita Kibian. 
Let's go. 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 Let's
At least, I know a little about our custom and tradition, Mom. It's only until I get a man that is when I can be crowned queen. Kambili has nothing to do with this. You know, it takes wisdom to rule this kingdom. But sometimes when you talk, it's as if you lacked him. Excuse me, Mom. I think your sister is right. Right about what, Mom? About us releasing Kambili before you can be able to ascend the throne as a queen. You know, I... I don't know if I am the only one that is having this whole perception about this situation because why would you want us to release Kambili? It's not making sense to me. Mom releasing that little rat is like exposing us to the public. Everything we've done to her, everything you and my sister have done to. Why would you want us to do that? Come on, it's not necessary. I think you're not ready for this battle. Where you are headed, there is no gain. Majesty. Once again, you are welcome to a Buddha kingdom. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You know, I invited you here to formally inform you that I will be coming to your kingdom, to the palace, to seek for the hands of your princess in marriage. <laughs> what a good news. Ah! Uh, what a good news. Uh, <laughs> Truly, we are still one in our king, but he has men in the kingdom. People like us we welcome you. Remember, you have been a good ally to our kingdom. Eh? Uh, the kingdom and the uh, Uru kingdom. We are good allies. Hmm? We feel for each other. You are welcome. Thank you. Eh? Uh, Igwe. Uh, I, I guess. You are coming for our princess, Princess Adure. So, now that you've known, if there is anything I need to do prior to the marriage, you let me know. You know, since your king has not been buried. Um, your Majesty, nothing at all. I mean, nothing. Nothing. We are waiting for you. Thank you. No. So my elders and I will be in your kingdom in two days time. That's okay. Thank you. You people have been friends to our kingdom. Eh? You are a very close friend to our kingdom. No. We can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we should be lost now. <laughs> Thank you. You can go ahead. Let's celebrate. Majesty. Let me see. Why is he not bleeding? Your Majesty, we found his corpse in the bush, so I had to cut off his head. Twelve were well with it. At once. me how you imbecile of a human being have been surviving with no food, no water. It does. Well, I can see that some people can never 
survive without my clothes, shoes, jewelries, and even my hairs. But news flash to the glory of God, some of us survive without food and water. <laughs> Thank you. Glory of God! Come on, will you come off it? Glory of God that can't even come down to save you, right? You know it's a beautiful thing. You've kept saying it, your clothes, your shoes, your this, your that. Yeah, I'm aware they are all yours. That's your stupid mother. But you beautiful things. And guess what? No, news flash as well. They are all mine now. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. I, I will admit that all along I've been so jealous of you. Yeah. All along. And no, not, not anymore. Because looking at you, you were a weak, dirty, disgusting swine octopus. Why should I even call you? That would be enough. Absolutely nothing. So quit shedding those crocodile tears. I am not touched. Guess what? What? Even in my downest moment, I am still better than you. And again, <laughs> you will never be queen. Don't shut up. <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. You will never be queen. I said, not you, not me. Your sister. Did you not hear me say, don't you ever? You don't know what is coming. I said, don't! Something is coming. Tick tock, tick tock. You're not even ready. Because the God that I serve and the God of this land is about to disgrace you and your demonic sister and mother. even as a servant. Now you run along. <laughs> you know what? Mm. You got a savior. Mm. And that savior is this protector. Else, you would be a walking corpse. Of course, I will run along, Keep but just do. Hey, shut up. I am talking. I said shut up. <laughs> Pray. I pray that I do not become the queen. Because if I do, how am I going to make sure I save your head to the dogs of this palace? You don't know what is coming. Did you not hear me say, shut up, my God? And the gods of this land. Oh, you never made that happen. I agree with the rare house. Oh no. I greet the cheers. No. Um, as the owner of Urumba Kingdom, the king of Obudu Kingdom invited me to his palace. He made known his intention of marrying our princess to me. They will be here in two days' time. Hmm? Yes. But we agreed as follows after my explanation of our current situation here. One, there will be no form of any event of any type or marriage or whatever ceremony can take place in this palace until we will not only see our princess, but she will be there fully. We see her in full frame. I mean, Princess Kambiri. 
one of their dads and daughter of this kingdom. That was the agreement. And on this note, I declare this meeting ended already. Um, Amara, I want to thank you for the food and for the other day. Uh -huh. Look, I must confess, I and my friends enjoyed the food <laughs> and even my father. Wow. So I want to say thank you. You don't need to tell me thank you. You don't need to. I should be the one telling you thank you. Thank you for allowing me to cook for you and your friends. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Amara, one more thing. Uh, please. Okay. I want you to marry me. Please. Marry you? Yes. Look, Amara, if you be my wife, I will treat you like a queen. And also make you the envy of so many women. Anything you want, I would do it. Please. And you will not leave a day to regret ever accepting to be my wife. Please. Your wife? Yes. Marry me. Wow, this is great. Yeah? It's, you know, it feels good to see my son happy again. Yeah? Look at him. He now smiles and laughs, you know, <laughs> without any prompting. Ah, bro, bro. Yeah? Uh, my daughter, I thank you so much for accepting to be his wife. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Papa. Babe, let me prepare something for Papa to eat, okay? All right. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess, I am more relaxed now. <laughs> she is actually the woman I needed all this while. Well, although I am still feeling a little bit of heartbreak, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Yes. You are even talking about heartbreak. What's that break? It's a very simple thing to do. Channel everything to her. Eh? You can see she's a good woman. She's good to you. She loves you. She takes good care of you. She cooks very well. And she keeps the whole house in order for you. What else do you want in a woman? Eh? Not that useless idiot that calls herself princess. Eh? She doesn't know how to cook. Doesn't know how to uh, uh, clean the, the house. Does she even know how to clean her own body? Yeah? Because uh, she calls herself a princess. Uh, forget about her. Yeah? This is the woman for you. This is the woman for you. Uh, well, I uh, thank God uh, some, for some miracles. You know, it happens sometimes. Now her personal maid is your wife. Uh, uh, Papa, she is not a maid. Just call her my wife. Please. Okay. Just referring to her uh, uh, from my experience as uh, the princess uh, has made. You know, uh, Papa, forget about her past. Just call her my wife. It's okay. And I like her just the way she oh, is. Oh, that's yes. what I'm talking about. Eh? That's, that's what I'm talking right. about. All this where that ends well. Eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you prefer Chief Collins to be our king? It is best known to me, you know. We do not even consider Princess Kambi to be the queen. It is not possible now. I know your intentions for me to crown Queen Kambi, right? I will not do that. Have you forgotten that I am Ada Adure of the late king, the heir apparent of Oru Kingdom? Uh, my princess, I don't know from where you're getting or driving this your notion. I don't know from where you're coming from. All I know is that in that day, you must get married. Yes. And secondly, a queen must be crowned. That's what I know. <clears throat> Hello? Your Majesty. <clears throat> I want you to send 
a message across to Princess Kambiri. Tell her to find herself in the palace now. Her presence is seriously needed. Yes. The youths, the elders, and in fact the entire uh, indigenous of this kingdom are expecting her to be in the palace to witness the marriage of her sister, Princess Adure, to the king of the kingdom. It is very, very important. Yes, there must not be any excuse at all. She must be present. Yes, conspicuously present. Thank you. Uh huh. It's okay. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Oh no. Hey, Please. my ass. Please, let us not deviate from our culture. Chendugwe, we do respect. You shut up your mouth. I want to do that. I've forgotten we are learned educated men of this kingdom. Who are you to shut me up? It's a I said, who are you to shut me up? In fact, who is Princess Cambri? Um, I see you talking from both sides of your mouth. Why? Why? Well, um, you asked me a question. Who is Princess Cambri? Yes. Good. Princess Canberra is not a pawn in chess board. Yes. She's a vital, educated, dignified woman. And if you don't have forgotten, <laughs> she is the noble daughter of our king, King Alfred, the ruling king of our kingdom, Uru Kingdom. You heard it very clearly. Hmm? Stop talking from both sides of your mouth. Ndukwe, you are here. How do you know we invite her to the palace and if not, the marriage will not take place? Well, I'm a king who respects customs and traditions. I think if this will cause, will cause issues, babe, you need to invite her. You need to let her know that she needs to be available. It seems you haven't been listening to me all this while. I said she will never come back. I insist you talk to her. Tell her that I specifically wants her to be in the palace. She needs to come back from London. You know, I'm saying this so there won't be a problem. Uh, please, uh, Your Majesty, I suggest you call the Onu. You know, our festival is in four days. Please. I know, I understand. I understand, but we can't go against their customs and traditions. So let's do the right thing. It's okay. You say so. <laughs> Your Highness, I am sorry. So sorry, Your Highness. But I want you to know that what we are doing is our custom. Princess Kambiri is also an Ada. And uh, there is no way. She must be absent while her own fellow Ada, in the name of Princess Adore, is taking marital vows with you. Can't you see that some ambiguity there? It's not allowed by a tradition. And most importantly, a queen will be crowned before the marriage. Princess Kambiri is from Queen Oledo and her only child at that. So please, you push understand this matter. See the whole thing from this perspective because I know that you understand what is called tradition. As a custody of your own tradition. I know. I understand your point. You, you have a very valid point there. But oh no, what if she refused to be? No, the princess can be that I know will not refuse to be present. I remember Sarada, she's supposed to be there to give us her own blessings. Eh? Like I said before, you push it on the stand with us. We're just doing our tradition. Her Majesty. I want you to understand that. 
our people has absolute respect for your customs and traditions. We will neither dance nor disobey them. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm? <laughs> Not a hmm? It's okay. <laughs> so the ball is in your court now. <laughs> Take a step backward. That's fine. I just want to remind you that you're going to be my husband for a period of 30 days. After that, we'll go our separate ways with no feelings attached. I think we've discussed this before and You've paid me handsomely for it. I'm glad you remember vividly well. Yeah, I paid you well, and I'm glad you do remember. But I am just here to remind you, because I wouldn't want emotions to begin to fly around, thereby causing some side talks in the air. That would be detrimental to the royal house. We are on a contract. Relax. I know everything, and I'm going to do my part tomorrow. Relax your mind. You don't tell me to relax. I am the one to ask you to relax. Because you dare not go contrary to what we agreed on. So having said that, relax your mind and get the job done. Okay. You may leave. All right. Hey, come back. When next you come to see me, we are the perfume that I got you. You smell like a dead rat, and that is disgusting. For I am a princess, a royal one at that. Everything and everyone around me must represent royalty. Get out. Got him a perfume, he couldn't even use it comes around me smelling like a dead rat. Poor people everywhere. Cha 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 Orumba Kwenu! Orumba Yanu! Wanu! Mwanu! Zonu! Katakwano! Kobunu Zono! Ha! You know your house. My headers! Abu headers! The entire people of Urumba Kingdom present here. I welcome all of us. I welcome all of you. I see now, who can I come and see KJ? Today is a great day in our land. A queen will be declared to rule to our land. Secondly, one of our princesses will be crowned queen for the king of. Um, over the kingdom. So today is a very good day for us. I urge us to come down and have fun. I am patiently wait for the arrival of the king of Obudu with his entourage. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My princess, princess Maya, 
Where am I just? Somebody that made you, a girl that made you to be here. Because in this place we have about three princesses. And they're all beautiful. In fact, parade of beauties. We want to know that one that made you leave your comfort. In all your glory. At Ubudu, to be here this time. Oh no. Uh, simple, Princess Adure. Oh. Adure. Which means I was right. His Majesty went ahead, came here, and dipped his hand in the cola sauce and took Oju. <laughs> no. Beauty itself. That's the reason we are here. Mm. Oh no. Uh -huh. That's the reason we are here. As tradition demands, please bring our wife. Oh, I do the goodness, Yaro. Choose Her Majesty. Let's have uh, Princess Adura here. Mm Hi! -hmm. Hey. Ugocha Lata. Ah, ah, Your Majesty. You have Paris. Ah! What is the madman doing? You understand me? Who asks you to come here? And who says he's a madman? My cousin is not mad, he's perfectly fine. What? Your, your cousin? Ha! Nadoze, my brother. You have done well for the kingdom of Obudu. I wanted a wife. I needed a queen for my people of Obudu kingdom. Out of nowhere, Aduri came. She started throwing herself at me. She befriended my sister. She tried everything possible to influence our judgment. I decided to play the game. That's why I contacted my brother Nadozi. Nadozi. Who do you think deserves to be the queen of my heart? Who do you think deserves to be the queen of Obudu Kingdom? Go ahead and point the princess. For whoever you point, I have chosen. My king and brother, indeed this world is full of evil. This woman, Queen Agatha, and her daughters are evil. Mm -hmm. They tried to kill their stepsister, a girl with a good heart. Some of the elders are also evil. In fact, They are wolves in sheep clothing. The guys are our brothers. And they are also a part of the plan. They poison my food. And demand for my head to be cut off. 
without knowing that I was on a mission. And today, the mission has been accomplished. Just a minute, my king. My princess, can you recall what I told you in the cell a time ago? I'm not a madman. I was actually on a mission. What? I was sent by the king of the Buddhist kingdom. I've already told them everything that had been happening in the palace. The king? Okay? Yes. What? See. Oh my god. See. This is the evidence. This is all you have. Let's go. What's that? Hold this ring. What? What is this? Take this ring. This is to show you that you have been chosen to be the queen of a Buddhist kingdom. Okay? Oh, Take it. What are Take you? it. What are you saying? Take it. What? We are coming back for you. We are coming back. Don't reveal this to anyone. Okay? Oh my God. We are coming back for you. Please, I shall go. I will be there. I will be okay. present. So, you even tried killing him? Yeah? And cutting off his head and carrying it on a platter. Uh, no, 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 I, 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 Shut up! The same way she killed your queen and poisoned your king. Come, 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 come. You killed our queen and poisoned our king. No! Hi! I didn't do that! Ah, no problem. You must die. All of you. You and all these your evil daughters. You will all die. Oh no, I am not a part of it. I am not. You must be put to death, all of you. Abomination. Hello. Hi. But the king is not dead. What? Huh? What? He's alive. Oh. Ah! Your majesty. Father. Your majesty. Your majesty. Father. You are welcome, you are welcome. Ah, you go. Yeah. I can never know. Yeah. I am alive. Father! I am not dead. I'm alive. You can tell me not in the hour. You go. What about you? You go. You are welcome. You are not dead. Ghost of Alan. I got that. You did try to kill me, but you did not succeed. The doctor that works for you confessed everything he did with you. It is quite unfortunate that you still do not know whom you are married to. I am who I am. I've called the commissioner of police to organize his boys to get you apprehended with your band of killers that you used in killing my wife Olama and attempted killing me. My, my Shut wife. up! Don't say a word. Do not provoke me for that. I have been calling you. No. Go back. It is not yet your time. Go back and take care of her. Go back. Go back. Go back. Olama! 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 
Today, old fools, pathetic excuse for elders. I have heard everything you have done. I will address that later. The people of Obudu Kingdom has finally seen a queen. I have seen my bride, the virtuous woman my heart has always yearned for. Hey. <laughs> and she is princess. <laughs> My dear, everything happened very, very, very fast. Like, as if I was dreaming. Mommy, it is good though. Hey, hey. Yeah. Mama, your ass is very really beautiful. <laughs> and what are you two unfeathered urchins doing in my man's house? <laughs> Amara, you, as you can see, I'm in my friend's house. Ekene! Ekene! Uh, what are these two retarded creatures doing in your house? And what are you doing here? Excuse you? Yes, what are you doing here? Is that question supposed to be for me? Oh, I see. Well, if you must know, this is my beautiful wife. And obviously, she's heavily pregnant for me. <laughs> and we do not need any disturbance right now. Exactly. The house is already filled, and four will be a crowd. Please, can you leave? Please leave. Can leave just the door, please? Uh -huh. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's okay. Hmm. <laughs> you guys should enjoy yourself, okay? Thank okay. you. I was actually doing something inside. Oh, no problem. All right? Bye. Right. Look at that mat. What are you doing? Yeah. Mm. Eh? Princess Maya, my friend and sister, how are you doing? I'm fine. You look changed. What happened to you? Yes, that is because God has arrested me. I am now a born again Christian. Oh, wow. Just like you did to Paul. So are you not a minister or what? Well, you can say that I am a child of God right now. Well, it's just so hard to believe. I mean. Yes, God has arrested me and his awesomeness is something but look how we have here. Could you meet King Jordan? Please, King Jordan, I am here to apologize for all the wrong things I've done to you. Please forgive me. I know I've done unthinkable. I am sorry. I came here to tell you that I still love you. I love you so much from my heart. 
please forgive me. I know it's okay. I hold no grudges against you. Okay? But there is nothing I can do at this point. I'm married. You are married? Yes. But I think you have um, something important to do before you came out. Yes, a whole lot of things. You can just go and continue. All right. Uh, I'm inside. All right. Yes, Your Majesty. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I wouldn't say whether this is good or bad news. What news is it all about? What news? Will Agatha is dead. What? Dead? Yes. She's dead. She is dead. And um, she took the shortest cut to her by taking a poison. <laughs> well, um, that's her own cup of tea. <sighs> that is the end of her uh, one face. Another news, Your Majesty. Other news. This one, good news, Your Majesty. Since you came back, Your Majesty, your beloved daughter, Princess Kambili, has just put to bed. What? I mean it. She has delivered a set of twins. Ho <laughs> ho! A boy and a girl. But they cost me praise. You say. <laughs> oh no. Not for me. Hey! Your when majesty. did this happen today? When? When did it happen? About 10 minutes ago? Huh? Yes! But we're not taking your calls. Oh yes, you know, I was not quite close where my phone was. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, congratulations Your Majesty. I, I, thank you very much. I, I don't want to hold this joy all by myself. I want you to make news round. Let people gather. I must do Monument with this good news. It is good news indeed. Eh? Good news indeed. <laughs> Please, um, gather people. Let them come and, and uh, eat, dine, and wine with me. This is not something to keep quiet with. You, with. <laughs> you can start the celebration through me. I just want to start making some calls for the merriment. You know, you know that. Yes. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> I'll be on my way, Your Majesty. Let me go at once and arrange the things. Oh, it's okay. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> right, okay. Wonderful. <sighs> 